we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome to. Let me just check that the microphones are all on. The other microphone's not on. There you go. Uh, let me know if you can hear us and see us okay. Uh, and welcome to a five player playthrough of Fayum. Um, I first played this game in 2020 when it came out over Tabletop Simulator. I've never played my physical copy. I've been wanting to play it ever since then. Uh, and I'm just going to fix the chat box. Bear with me a minute. I forgot to move the chat box. There we go. Chat box fixed. Um, yeah, this is not a sponsored playthrough. This is just five people getting together and playing a game that's hopefully good fun. Um, but yeah, not a sponsored playthrough. So don't expect one of my perfect teachers. In fact, 15 minutes ago, I just said to these guys, I don't actually know how to play this game. <laughs> and we've just spent the last 15 minutes very, very quickly reading through the rules. So um, yeah, we're, this is very much going to be a voyage of discovery. Although I have played it before, it was a long time ago. Um, if you are watching this back afterwards, I would recommend switching the subtitles to the Klingon channel. Because if anybody spots any errors that we make uh, afterwards, I'll go in and I'll, I'll, I'll add some Klingon subtitles. Um, big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. If you like the content that I create and you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Right, let's crack on. So we, the sum of setup that we've not done yet, um, we've got, well, let, let's tell everybody what we're trying to do. This is uh, set 3,900 years ago, apparently. It's the uh, Oasis-like basin Fayum was artificially built 3,900 years ago by enlarging the Bar Yusef channel that connected to the Nile to create a regulated flood plain. Uh, it's a strategic game for enthusiasts of planning games. Uh-oh. The basic rules are simple. Um, we each have a hand of cards. We've got five cards in our hand at the start of the game. We've all got exactly the same hand of cards. We're going to be playing those cards, performing the actions of those cards, but the cards go to our own personal discard pile. And the clever thing with this game is that when you decide to do administration, you get three cards back. Yes, the board is upside down. That's because Robert is sat over there. And it means that if, if the cards were here, he wouldn't be able to see them. So, yeah, the board is upside down. I mean, I could actually switch it. Tell you what, let's switch it. There you go. If it's confusing, I can I can switch it quite easily. You could turn your monitor around. Yeah, if everybody just wants to stand on their head. Move the table. <laughs> if I do that and do that, how, how's that? Is, is that all right? It's a little unusual because it means I'm not in the, uh, I'm not where I normally am. But yeah, I, I'm over here now. But there you go. The board the board is now the right way round for everybody. You have to put a special subtitle on saying Paul is not sitting. I, I am not sitting in the, in the normal table. position. Anyway, right, there you go. So how's that? Hopefully that's uh, hopefully that's clearer. Um, anyway, like I was saying, you play your cards, you put them on your personal discard pile. And then when you do administration, you only get the top three cards back. You have to pay money to get more cards back. So what will happen as you carry on playing cards in this game certain of your cards will get buried so too low and you won't get them back again but from my memory of playing this game a couple of years ago the cards start off very simple in the game they're like farmers that can go out and get some goods we can build roads and we can build settlements but as the game goes on we're going to be gaining new cards which allow us to do whole different kinds of stuff so the card that we had for farming we might not want that anymore so once you put that to the bottom of your deck or your bottom of your discard pile, that's fine. It, it's gotten rid of. So there's a kind of deck building element, but you're not building a deck, you're building a hand. Anyway, it's very, very clever. The reason the cards are not on the board, yes, we haven't we haven't finished the setup yet. So to set up the game, as I said, we've each got our own five cards, which are all exactly the same. We have some yellow bordered cards. There are 13 included in the game. You take five of them out, depending on your play account. And I've got the eight cards, uh, the eight yellow cards that we're using. The last four of these are natural disasters and the game ends when all of these four cards end up here. But the reason I've got them there is we've also got a big deck of blue cards. So these are all completely shuffled. And if somebody wants to deal out 12, just pop them in a pile for now because uh, it's, it's, we need to sort them by in numeric order. Yeah. So draw the topmost 12 cards uh, and sort them face up by number from low to high. So the lowest one goes there 
and the, and then the eighth one goes there. Um, we've already decided that uh, the Adrian is the starting player, so Adrian's going to be going first. Adrian starts with three dollars. The next two players four, and then the next two players five. Right. I'm just going to pick up my cards again because these these cards should be in your hand, not on the table. Oh, it's really weird that I'm not in the bottom left. <laughs> <laughs> really, really weird. Ball's the wrong way up. Can we turn the board round? We turn the board round. If we turn the board round, that'll be that'll sort it. Bit dangerous. Right. Oops. Dropping. Uh, so twelve, isn't it? Yeah. Twelve. So the four. eight go there. Eight and go then there. The other four then... will be in a separate separate pile. As long as you're sure that they're the lowest eight. Are they the lowest eight numbered cards? Uh. Seventy-four is the highest one here. That's yep. correct. Okay, so if you just lay these four out here, the rule book suggests we all look at what these cards are. Now, first time we've really played this, so it's not really going to mean anything to us. But once you know the game, these four cards, we're all supposed to look at what they are. This is somebody taking his drive. <laughs> you, you put someone on, on a workshop, so the workshop is that right angle shaped piece of wood. Those things down That's there. The workshop. Yeah. So you put someone on the workshop place. and you get your tax, you collect money. So we've got a tax collector, Mason's work, harvest festival, and a pharaoh. Then what we do is we shuffle those four cards <clears throat> in to the eight yellow bordered cards and place them aside as a final turns stack. I'll, I'll keep them over here for now. So that's the final turn stack. These cards will come out at a certain point in the game. Right. Um, we need to put a discount token on these sure. fours. Yep. Actually, we can leave it there. That's fine. Yeah, because then we're not covering up the, uh, the actual space itself. Right. So we've got various wooden parts for various things in the game. I'll just go through them briefly now. We have resources, which we have... Um, grapes we have fish we have wheat we have stones and we have roses roses are a wild card the, the there are three of those are the basic ones which is everything except fish and roses are the basic resources okay so i'll i'll do that so those three are the basic resources yeah. and we got fish which are special uh and then we got roses which are a wild card for any of these so they're the resources we also have building blocks which we're going to be using to build the monuments on these brown spaces we have these, which are roads. roads. Well, in fact, I've got two different coloured. So according to this, there are 40 roads in the game. And it looks like I've got two different coloured pieces. I don't know why. Three. No, they're bridges. Oh, bridges. They're slightly okay. wider. So I don't quite know why I've got two different hmm. uh, shades looks like you've got more of the dark brown road i do but they, they don't exist <laughs> not a, they're not a thing there well, are maybe also... you've got 40 of the dark browns and maybe you've got less than 40. well there shouldn't be any of these i don't know anyway there's four bridges which are these and there's two grand bridges which are these gold ones i'll put them in there um we have workers we have 30 workers <clears throat> we have palaces which are these gold buildings here uh, we've got expansions or extensions, I think they're called. These are called extensions. Um, we've got the workshops, which are the L-shaped pieces, which are slightly off camera. We have settlements, which are these. And we have towns, which are these. So lots and lots of different wooden pieces for different things. Uh, we've got crocodiles. Crocodiles start off on these areas. And while we're looking at the map, uh, we have undeveloped spaces and we have developed spaces. So a developed space is this settlement is developed, these monument uh, sites are developed, and these two spaces on either side of the road are developed. Everything else is undeveloped at the start of the game. We also have, this is a swampy area with crocodiles in here. No swamps here, but it is still undeveloped, and that'll be important for some terminology, I think. Uh, right, so yes, setup has been done. Game board, sort of mentioned that, we've done that. Um, right, reputation track is points. So we're trying to get as much reputation as we can and the player with the most reputation at the end of the game will win. 
So uh, the way that the game plays is on your turn, and Adrian, you're you're taking the first turn of the game. You've got three options. Yep. You can either play a card from your hand. You can buy a card from here, or you can perform an administration. They are your three options. So let's explain the first option, which is play a card. Now, when you play a card, you actually have two other options, which is do the action on the card or not do the action on the card and gain $2 instead. So when you choose the first option of playing a card, um, you can either do the action or you can play the card. We'll go on to what the cards do later on, but essentially some of them have uh, a green cost, on the, uh, a green thing on them, which is gain, and a red, which is a cost. And you must pay the, the cost, uh, and the green, you must you must gain it if it's got that. So that, that's playing a card. Buying a card from the market is very simple. You've got the printed cost of the card, minus one if it's got a discount on it, and all of the four cards at the start of the game have a discount on. Um, you can't buy from here. You can only buy from here. And the card goes in your hand. And then what happens is we replenish, we draw a new card from the stack and we slot that in depending on where it is. So at the moment we have cards 2, 10, 14 and 26. If the new card is 24, then it will slot into that position, <laughs> that position there. The third option is administration that we'll probably explain a little bit more later on because nobody's going to be doing that at the start. Okay, so that's, yeah. But administration, you get money, you get three money minus the number of cards in your hand. So you might be thinking, well, I only want to do administration when I've played all of my cards because then I get more money. But then the problem is you've got five cards in your discard pile and you only get three of them back. Also, when you do administration, you can take workers back off the board uh, and you can buy, you can get cards from your discard sack. And then in a five player game, we replace one card from the current market. So it cycles the market. Now, an important thing about things on the board um, and this isn't unique to this game. I've got a few games like this now, but everything on the board is not owned by any player. So when you build uh, a settlement or a road or anything like that, it's not owned by you. It's all building up, um, building up the board for everybody. <coughs> right. Let's go into the cards that we've got. Now, the cards come in four different types. There are harvest cards, which basically allow you to get resources from the board. There are building actions, which allow you to build stuff on the board. There are commerce actions, which presumably get you money. And then there's the general other category for anything that doesn't fit into those sorts of things. Um, let's explain the first action, which is Jack Bauer, the farmer. So with the farmer card, you send out a farmer to gain one of the three basic types of resources. Take a worker, you place it upright on any undeveloped resource space that is either adjacent to another worker that is on any space, whether developed or undeveloped. If there are no workers on the board, you've got free choice of an undeveloped space. So the first time somebody plays that the farmer card in the game, they could say, right, I'm going to go there. This is an undeveloped space and I'm going to gain some stone. And that worker just comes straight out of supply. Straight out of here. All right. Okay. But the next time, somebody puts one on, it has to go on an undeveloped resource space adjacent to another worker that is on any space, whether developed or undeveloped. So the next one has to go around that. Now, some of these spaces have crocodiles on. So if there is a crocodile on the space, you remove the crocodile and you gain a dollar. So the farmer goes there, scares the crocodile away, and you actually get a dollar for doing that. And then what you do is you gain the matching resource. So you'll gain grapes for this, wheat for this, stone for that. That's what that action does. And it says here, place a thing on the board adjacent to another one and gain one of the resources. Any questions about that one? Nope. Right. I think you've got two of them, haven't you? Yeah. Three. 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 Wow. Yeah. Right. You've got three farmers. Um, the next card to explain is two roads. Mm. So you place two roads, which we'll, we'll use. We'll use these dark brown ones. I don't know what these light brown ones are. Um, so you place two roads each of which must connect two adjacent crocodile-free spaces. Now, these, these are not adjacent over here. So they've got to be crocodile-free. Uh, and what it does is it turns those spaces into developed spaces if it wasn't already developed. If there are workers already on the spaces, the workers remain there. 
You can place the two roads connected to one another or in different places, but roads either start at a settlement or a building site, or they continue another road or a bridge. In fact, I think somebody said this earlier on, that should be a bridge. There you go. Well, I don't think it should. It's the rules. Go on. It's called the dam, which is from what I can see referred to slightly differently. But I oh, no, it's not a bridge. I couldn't see whether it was specifically a road or a... Well, <laughs> it says... It says place a road. Place okay, a road, do, road. The rules do say place a road. Okay, so that's the dam. It's not a bridge. Mm. Does that mean you can start? But I think I think you can. I think roads and bridges work the same way when you're trying to connect anything. Yeah. Connecting by roads and bridges is exactly the same. It's just that the cards specify. Yeah, it says <laughs> including the road that begins the game on the dam. Yeah. Roads can branch out only on settlements and building sites, so you cannot branch out. You did an example earlier on, didn't you? You've got a road coming from yeah. here here and here you can't branch out there yeah. so roads cannot branch out unless they're at building sites or settlements yeah so if you wanted to do this that is perfectly that's, that's legal to totally allowed that is not because it's branching from a non-settlement development yeah has anybody watching live has anybody actually played this if you have great because you can you can help <laughs> us when we get stuck <laughs> let us know if you've played it or let us know if you watched my playthrough from two and a bit years ago and you remember more than i do um, so the cost of building a road is one resource per road. So you pay two resources and the resource must match one of the resource spaces connected by that particular road. So if you build from there to there, which you can't do, but let's say that was there and you build from there to there, that cost you a stone. But then if you were to build from there to there, that would cost you either a stone or a grape. You choose. Um, you get three points. Yeah, so you gain three reputation for building two roads. If a road finishes the first direct connection of two settlements, two building sites, or a settlement and a building site, you get an extra reputation. So potentially you can gain an extra two reputation for two separate first connections built with both roads. Yes, okay. You also gain this extra re reputation when you place a new settlement on a space already connected by roads to another settlement. Right, okay, so that's building roads. And remember, they're not your roads. They're everybody's roads. The last initial action to explain is settlement. You place a settlement on any crocodile-free resource space of your choice. That space now becomes developed. Any workers present remain on the space, but there must be a gap of at least one space between two settlements. Settlements on opposite sides of the channel is okay since the channel separates the spaces. Now, the cost to build a settlement is a wheat, a grape, and a stone gets you three reputation and gets you three money. And if somebody had built that, for example, and you go and build a settlement there, then you have now made that connection. So you gain the reputation. The same as if, if that was already there and a person built the road. Right. Any questions about those five basic actions? Good time to mention the two things that are shown on the back of the player aid. Which are? The, the top one says that um, it's a kind of trading thing. Yep. When you need to pay costs, you can substitute either a grape or a stone or a wheat with some money. Oh, right. OK. But not like if you had to pay one of each, you could only substitute one of them. One, right. One resource with three money. OK. And then the bottom one <clears throat> repeats what you've already said is on your turn, you can play a card from your hand into your discard pile and get two money. Right. OK. Yeah. Each time you need to pay resources, you can replace one of the basic resources with three money. Right. OK. And that's why one of the reasons why <laughs> basic is important. The basic. Right. Got the it. Basic re resources. Yeah. Shall we go through the actions that are available just so we can uh, see mm -hmm. what they are? Yeah. What have we got? We've got the gardener, number two. Gardener, number two. Place one worker upright on any undeveloped space adjacent to the channel. Uh, gain one rose. So it's a which wild is, resource. Which is a wild, yeah. a wild resource. Okay, next one. Ten, uh, senior farmer. Senior farmer number ten. Well, I've got senior farmer number six. It's more than one senior farmer. Oh, there's a different... Oh, right. Senior farmer number 10. Follow the rules as explained under senior farmer number 6. Right. <laughs> place one worker as explained above for farmer. So it follows the same placement rules for the farmer. Yeah. 
but you get two matching resources and remove a crocodile if there's a crocodile there. Okay. Right. Easy. Next one. Wheat supplier number 14. Wheat supplier. Place one worker upright on any settlement, gain two wheat. So the iconography looks pretty clear. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Migrant worker. Migrant farmer. See yep. if we can work out what, what that does. <laughs> you move you move a worker that's already on the board yep. to an adjacent space. Um up, that to, is... up to two adjacent spaces. Well, yes, you can either. I, I think you can move one. Mo oh, one, one up to two, or move two, two one each. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, when they move, they gain the resources of the places where they. So you can gain up to two grape, two resources from the places that the they grape. move into. <clears throat> yeah, and you can remove crocodiles as well. Basically, farmers can. can remove yeah. crocodiles. So any card that has mm. crocodiles in the top right or top top corners means that you can remove crocodiles. Right, so that's those four. Are, are we happy just jumping in? And I'm going to open the window if that's all right, because it's a little yeah, bit warm. It's warm. <laughs> it's a bit warm, but I've been in here filming, so all of the lights have been on, all of the cameras have been on. I'm just wondering what their thematic explanation is for the farmers selling a crocodile for a, for, a, for money. <laughs> well, it's proven for each, there is probably a very. <laughs> it represents I, the fact that someone's been in farming there for a while. Yes, and it's not crocodiles are anymore. Oh, okay. Because it's not swampy, the, the crocodile, crocodile away. has gone away. Oh, so you didn't actually okay. eat the crocodile. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think you did. You don't get an extra crocodile next door because they've chased it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah. do you want to play a card, buy a card? I did consider buying the, the gardener, I'll be honest. But or, I think... or do administration. Go on, I'm, do administration. I'm definitely not going to do administration because there's nothing to do. It just you get be, no money. It would just be replace one card in the current market. It would. So, I'm not going to do that. I am just going to start with what I think is something fairly simple, and I'm going to place down the first so put worker. Them in your hand. Yeah. I've lost my administration card. Oh, it's there. So you're going to play a farmer. I'm just going to play a farmer. So your first one can go anywhere. Can go absolutely anywhere. But your setting, where all future well, I farmers wonder. are going to spread out from. Has it got to be on a stone? It doesn't nope. have to be anywhere specific. Just so it could be on a crocodile. It can be on a crocodile because it, it removes the crocodile. It has to be on a undeveloped space. So it can't go here, here, here. Well, you surely want to get a bit of crocodile action and get your free money. Well, it feels like it. And I think because we're all learning, I might actually be nicer than I normally am and go there. Because then people can have their choice of, <laughs> yep. of goodies. So, so that just goes The away. crocodile is gone. You get a dollar for that. And I get a grape. You get a grape. And a dollar. That's it. So the first player to place a farmer does have quite a lot of control over the way the game might play. I think so. Well, let's uh, jump on the bandwagon. Can I have a farmer? Um, yeah, I'll put him, I'll put him here. Okay. I'll put the crocodile, gone. crocodile discard pile. Get a dollar. Thank you very much. I feel rich. I feel like playing a farmer. <laughs> <laughs> so could you put a farmer on... Well, which shall I go for? Um, well, you could break the break the trend yeah. and go for wheat or stone. I mean, we don't start with any resources. Let's go. No, so we can't no. build roads. We no. can't build settlements. Let's, let's go on the wheat. That's um, just going towards you. Yeah, that's it. Yes. So I get one. Okay, I'll go on. Have a dollar. Wheat. Thank you. And I'll wait. Well, okay. I'm going to break <laughs> with the. You could buy a card. Yes, I might buy the. You started <clears> big bucks, didn't you? Yeah. I could buy the senior farmer for three money, and I'll get two of the things. Yes. So I'll do that. Yeah, seems good. <clears throat> Thank you. So you buy you buy the senior farmer. That goes into your hand. That goes. The discount goes. We draw a new card from the deck, and it is number ninety four. Right. So everything slides down, and we now have a new action that's come available, which bridge. is bridge number thirty eight. Have a discount, so it does not have a discount. Okay. Bridge number 38 says place one bridge connecting two crocodile free spaces on opposite sides of the channel. Any workers present remain there. These spaces are now developed, they are connected by the bridge but still not adjacent. Uh, pay two resources of your choice grape, stone, or wheat to gain four reputation. You can choose the same or different resources. If you directly connect a settlement and or building site with another settlement and or building site for the first time, gain one extra reputation. So the wheat supplier 
<clears throat> you just put the you just play that put a guy on top of a settlement and gets two wheat doesn't have to be next to a nope get two wheat okay maybe any number of work uh, farmers on there no there's only no, one only worker one. per space okay but there is a way that they can get removed yeah the the administration yeah. lets you remove workers yeah who's good migrant farmer. it's me and yeah, I, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend three money. And I'm going to buy the wheat supplier. Oh, and that's... Uh, that fits there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, okay, the hermit. Number eight. eight. Uh, place one worker upright on any undeveloped space where each adjacent space contains no worker and is also undeveloped. Right, okay. Get yeah, two reputation and you can remove a crocodile. So it could go here. Yeah. Yes. So anywhere. So that's it's it's it can't be, can't be next to development either. Or a per so or another person. Every, so every space adjacent space to it must be it. undeveloped and have okay. no worker. I mean it could be over here as well, because obviously there's not a lot of Ooh. Yeah. Right. Back to you, Adrian. Now it's back to me. Hmm. Well, it feels like if I leave it any longer, those tasty minus ones are going to have disappeared. So I'm going to go back to... Do I do... Oh. I think I might... Money seems quite tight. If you play the gardener, does the, do you have to follow the rules no. for placement? No, it's just the farmer. Did you see the iconography? Okay. It's adjacent to an existing one. Right. Yes, that just has to be next to a river. But farmers all stick together, as we know. I'm going to empty my wallet Ding. and take a migrant farmer. Spent all this money. Oh, that's all I wanted. And it's a number 76. Right down there. So, which card has come in? The plantation. I oh, know for the, it's the vineyard, isn't it? For what's coming yeah. into legal. 46. Oh, I see. 46. Wow. It's bigger. Place one workshop on any grape space, as explained under card 44 farm, which is place one workshop on any grape space that is already developed by a road or bridge. Oh, okay. You pay one wheat and one stone and you gain three reputation and three grapes. So it must have had it. It must have been de-crocodiled. It has it... to be developed. Mm. Right. So it has to be a developed grape space and in which we currently have none and the only way to get a development <clears throat> is to take a crocodile off it so and building it roads it's got a crocodile yeah but you can't build a road into somewhere that's got a crocodile yeah so you've got to decrocodile it and then you can put yeah. a road in it and, and then, then it becomes it developed it's being developed yeah and then you can put a building right, got you've got to drain the swamp well, we need to remove else. the bridge yeah. on the board near the first player nope nope it's not a bridge it's a road yeah the dame no me it's um, well, let's. Uh, You're gonna do it. You're cool. gonna buy the gardener. Okay, new card. Uh, number ninety-eight. I've got a feeling that's gonna go at the end. Yeah. So what's come in? You know, you baker. Yeah. Stone baker. No, 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 no. oh. Next one. It's stone oh, baker. Seventy. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit like oh, the. Okay. Place one worker board. upright on a settlement to gain three stones. Right, Robert. <clears throat> right. I feel I should be buying something. The money's piling up here. Um, I wanted that one that you bought, Adrian. <laughs> it was quite tasty, but... Um, <clears throat> so the vineyard thing, that would cost me five. I could afford that. Seems oh, quite okay. good. Um, is that your money? There's some high, this is my money. I just put some money in there. Oh, I don't um, do that. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get more money? <laughs> Peter gave me to it. We, get, we got so some from Alligator to give me too much money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we use all my money. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I thought that was just an auxiliary bank, not yours. Um, I mean, <laughs> okay, I think I will. I think I'll get a bridge. I won't spend all my money. Adam is saying it's that it's so nice money. that the crocodiles have spread out evenly for us. It's they, true. It is. It's so yeah. poor money to get the bridge card. It's very coordinated. Mm. Right. Next card. Next card. Yeah. They're not social animals, are they? Hard. Well, they're anti-social, famously. I mean, if it was Uwe, they'd have bred by now. So, uh, so number, number 52. 52. 
52. Order. Order. Choose one to three cards in your hand. Place them at the bottom of your discard stack. Mm. Gain two dollars per card. Mm. Interesting. Get the chap out of your hand. Mm. Interesting. Send your least useful minions to the bottom of the yeah. discard pile. You get money for them. Right. Well, I would buy more cards, but I can't bother me. <laughs> so I'm going to use my senior farmer. Yep. Uh, it's got to go adjacent to one of these. I think I'll go here. Yep. So you get one dollar for removing the crocodile. Yep. And then you get two. Two breaks. Two breaks. Well, I'm going to also play a... So that's your discard pile. I'll put that on my discard pile. And I'm going to put this uh, here to get a dollar and a gray. Quick turns. Quick turns. Light quick turns. Mm, okay. I guess there is a reason later where we can lay down workers. We've, we've not come across that. I think it's mainly yet. about one card. That oh, right. You lay them down. Okay. But I haven't looked at all of the card descriptions, but I saw one right. that did that. Rob, if you want to take that fork thing off mm -hmm. and just put it there. Sure. So that you're not leaning around the... There we go. Is that easier? I'm going to just play another farmer, I think. Um... Kind of wanted something else, but it's only one place worth going for that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here. And we don't yet know how we actually build blocks on here. That's that's a card we've not seen yet. Yeah. I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get another grape for now. But Yeah. Oh, yeah. More farming. Let's go for that one. So one dollar and, and a wheat. And one wheat. wheat. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, right. that old God is I'll do a farmer. Um, so let's go. <laughs> um, let's go at that one there. Oh, I've, no, yeah, I got a great. I haven't got a great yet. Thank you. And a dollar for clearing the crocodile. Lovely. Expectations. These crocodiles pay well, though, don't they? They do. For moving you about. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for a crocodile as well. I'm going to remove this crocodile. <clears throat> yep. Thank you. So you get a dollar and a wheat. Thank you. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet wheat. Well, this seems to be the thing you do because I'm tempted to go somewhere else and get stone, but I don't get the dollar. Mm. And I'm greedy. If you wanted to build a settlement, you might need stone. Money. Or money. You can replace the resources with three money. Ah, seems one quite one basic resource. Seems quite expensive. Yeah. Mm. When like cards, they're normally like three, four, or five. Spending three seems <laughs> somewhat extortionate. The problem with the hermit is it's only useful right near the start of the it is cheap now, so if you well, bought... Guys are going to get taken off, though, aren't they? Guys are going to get taken They'll off. It'll allow you to branch out into a new area. Oh, because it's a worker, yeah. which means then farmers can... It doesn't can... need to be placed adjacent to a to another worker. And if it ends up at the bottom of your stack halfway through the game, so actually, that doesn't feel like an issue in this game so much, does it? Whereas normally... No, I'm not, I'm oh, not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to risk <laughs> it. I was tempted to, but I think it might be a bit late. Get a grape, get a dollar, done. Right. Another grape, another dollar. Yes. So, uh, Adam wants a variant where somebody controls the crocodiles. <laughs> the, the one versus many game. Yeah. <laughs> that makes the workers lie down, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these are for. These are, these are kind of like, like a, <laughs> a, blood a crime it? scene. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the only game I've got with crocodile meeples in it. <laughs> so I've got the bat meeples from Attiwa, and now I've got crocodile meeples here. Well, you could combine the two, like bats versus crocodiles. <clears throat> yeah. I think maybe you could leap over crocodiles like in James Bond. You know, really yeah. cool. oh, just jump across them. <laughs> <laughs> They're little stepping stones. Yeah. It'd be an expansion set. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, there's been talk about an expansion for this. Well, there are gap, gaps between the numbers. Every single numbers. card is is an even number, so there's gaps between the cards, mm. but nothing has ever been forthcoming. I don't think the game did that well. Okay, uh, me again, isn't it? So it is. let's, let's, let's farm it up. Um, let's go. Uh, well, let's just go here. <laughs> One dollar. Yes, please. And a grape. Okay, one grape. Very much. I feel like farming. So let's farm. <laughs> I feel like farming on the stone. So um, there or there? Uh, there, there, there? In between those two. Or there? Yeah, that one. So you have a stone. I've got a stone, but I don't get money. You don't get, your the don't get the money, but dollar. I think. I mean, is there any way you can build a settlement at the moment? I think there is. If there. you've got a settlement card, there yes. and there, and they are. Yeah, I, think the I don't think. But you so can't. Well, it could only be here, right? Be because you can't put it next. I think to I could a... build it in the space where I am. It's got to be undeveloped. It has to be on a crocodile-free resource space of your choice. Oh, that space becomes developed. Doesn't have to be connected. Yeah, that's okay. right. <clears throat> it, it develops the space, so you don't have to build roads and then the settlement. You can just build settlements in the middle of nowhere. It's true. Okay, and yes, there is a solo mode. There is definitely a solo mode. Uh, that was me. Are you done here? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to build a settlement. Just to oh, we go then. So you have to spend one of each resource. So you I... don't have the stone, but you have three money. So I'll spend the three money to make up the stone. Yep, and those two. <clears throat> That's probably a bad idea. Well, we're all learning. Uh, and then I can put this anywhere that's... You can put it on a crocodile free... Yeah. Space. Space. A, re a crocodile free resource space. Okay. Uh, oh, like here. Yes. Or it could be one that's got a meeple on it. Yeah, it could have meeples mm -hmm. on it. It, just it could. Crocodile. It mm -hmm. doesn't have to. Okay. But it has to be at least one space away from another settlement. So the, the no 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 oh, just okay. settlements. All right. <clears throat> oh, let's let's go into the wilderness. And no, that's not <clears throat> bad, is it? Because it's close to that one, and I don't want anyone to get an easy uh, an mm. easy good point. Good point. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you build a settlement there. You get three reputation, and you get three money. So you get your three money back. I do. And but... you got three points. Right, everybody, pick on Rob. What color were you, sorry? I good point. I'm red. Red. <clears throat> yeah. red. But what is? I mean, during the game. Uh, reputation isn't, doesn't really do anything, does it? It's end game. True. Yes, just, just got rank, I think. <clears throat> but if the house burns down and we there have to end now, there is one thing, yeah. one thing yeah. that reputation can do during the game. Is there? Yes. Okay. It's another okay. card. It's another oh, card. Okay. Right. So I can't. Right. Yeah. It's time, I think, for the wheat supplier. I get two wheat. Nice. nice. Well, I'm liking this so far. Right. It's interesting. It I is. think it's very, very clever. I am going to build two roads. I'm going to build one there. So, roads. And I'm going to build one there. Ooh, that's yeah, so that, that's allowed. Easy win. Mm. So that cost a grape. Yeah. And that cost a grape as yeah. well. So that's my right. two grapes. Yeah. And then I get three victory points. So building. The road for this for the road and one extra for because me. you yep. have connected seemed like a cheap point so i thought why not <laughs> you just wanted to be in the league didn't you <laughs> for a very small period of time yeah. <laughs> so we can't do that here because <clears throat> there's a crocodile there's crocodiles in the way and now you can't branch off of this one because you can't branch off of there so you'd have to clear these out so it's kind of not nice. just kind of block that a little bit as well that's nice, nice. Mm. out loud thinking there Well, if I play my gardener, he can go in anywhere next to a river. Let's put him, let's put him here. And he gets you get a dollar for the dollar. thing, and you get a rose. Oh, I get a rose. I'll get a rose. Of course you do. Yeah. Roses are wild. Roses <laughs> are purple. Oh, okay. It's something in there. <laughs> Feels like it'd make a good front cover for a Valentine's card somewhere. I should mm. get onto the publisher. Mm. Right. Let's see what you've done there. Yes. Let's see what you've done there. 
Um, <clears throat> so maybe I need to build a settlement. Um, it's all the rage. <laughs> let's build a settlement. Um, I need to pay one of each, one of each basic. basic so this is the basics. Um, where shall we have a settlement? Um, one step further on than where that meeple is. There? Yeah, that's the one. You get three money and three points. Oh, no, that's not a good place because then someone can build roads. <laughs> so you so go a little you. bit further towards you, Paul. <laughs> right, that makes it, yeah. That would be. I'm happier. Yeah. yeah. So I get three. Oh, money. because somebody could have. Could just do exactly what I've done over here. To build, if, they to, if they had to, to build the double road. Who's thing. got two steps? Or six money. Six yeah. money. Mm. Three money in a row. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah. You you build the gardener, have to be adjacent to a worker. No. no. Or yellow, please. Gardener can be anywhere adjacent to this. It's only the farmer or the master farmer that has to be adjacent. And that can be seen on the. On the card. I'm going to um, do an early admin. Okay, right. So first administration, you gain three money minus the number of cards in your hand. Three. Three, so zero. You may take back zero to two workers from the board, mm -hmm. put them back in the supply, gaining one dollar for each one that you do. So I guess you want to do that. Yeah. Remove zero to two upright workers. I thought he said uptight workers <laughs> from any spaces on the game board and return to the supply, gaining one dollar for each removed worker. Well, I've got no idea what no. would be a good idea, so I'll take this one. Yep. Um, oh, that looks interesting over there, but I'll leave that as, as it is. Um, maybe I'll take this one. Yep. Okay, so you get another two dollars. Yep. And now Thank you. you get the top three cards of your discard pile. Oh. Uh, yes, that, that was the top three that I took, actually. Okay, and that's all of them. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to buy back anymore. Yeah. And now, because we're a five-player game, we remove from the market... It's normally the lowest cost with a minus one it's, on. Yeah, the lowest card that has a discount token on it. If none of them have a discount token, the lowest numbered card. Bye -bye, uh, then we put a discount token on each card that remains in the current market, and then we draw a new one. I was going to miss the hand. Though. No, oh. I think I think oh. the next time <laughs> next time I play, I'm going to buy the hermit as soon as I can. Sixty-eight and try and use Number it. Sixty-eight, <clears throat> great trader. But I felt I felt it was a bit too late. It's a bit it's a bit similar to um, one of the other ones. Oh, it's a bit similar yeah, to the yeah, stone. We don't need to explain that. Nice and <clears throat> right, me. So I knew how to do bingo call. It. Call up bingo numbers. I had a plan. And it was to play farmer. And we're going to put the farmer here. And we're going to get a stone. Done. Right. I am going to buy this a vineyard for two. Uh, 66, the wheat trader. I think we've seen one of those before. Can we work out what it does? It's put a person on a. I think this is why we put the discount tokens on, on the cards. The card mm. so they around, slide down. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the wheat trader does the same as that wheat trader, which is you put a guy. No, no, no. Him. That's a better wheat trader. Oh, is it? Yeah. <clears throat> Mine's a wheat supplier. Oh. Yeah, the cards get better. It's a wheat master. <laughs> Whose go was that? Was that? No, that was me. Sorry, oh, Adrian. Oh, I haven't been yet. Sneeze. Uh, right. Um, oh, well, am I going to just get in there? He's got the money. I do have the money. Some real bargains there. Let's, let's, um, let's get wheat trading. And I'm going to give you all my money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to um, trust me with that. Take the wheat trader. Those, those like well no they might not this one is uh town number 84 oh so we, uh, is it coming in that's no, not no, no, getting the homestead number 74 okay so number 74 is entering right. the game 74 says similar to the vineyard i think place one workshop on any wheat space that is already developed by a road or bridge <laughs> pay one grape and one stone gain three reputation and four wheat okay so similar to the 
And you have to punch taken. And the plantation, which is next to it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the <clears throat> oh, that's a better one. Oh. <clears throat> Me now? Yeah. I feel like getting this one. Yeah. So it seems a bargain because the numbers are 52. And it's and only the price is two money, so can't go wrong. Number 82 goes <clears throat> here. So 76 is entering, which is the plantation. Sounds like a horse race, and number 76 is <laughs> coming up on the right. So yeah, I mean, the game is going to be variable depending on the order in which these cards come out. We seem to have got high-numbered cards mm. early in the game. Mm. Well, the disasters were, what, 120-something? <clears throat> yeah, but these are these cards are numbered 2 to yeah. 120 or something. That's the variability. Mm. Yeah. It's a nice way as well, isn't it, of pushing down like the lower like value cards mm -hmm. into the market early doors? Because if they're lower numbered, they're going to push mm -hmm. their way into the market at the very start of the game. Yeah. Power Grid uses something very similar. Oh, yeah. Um, I think I'll take a, the one with the discount on it. Three money. All oh, right. Okay. Um, just the Stone Trader. Yeah, people are getting access to some really powerful cards quite early on. 106. Okay. So that's where we end. So what's come in? The senior supplier, which is put a worker on a town space and get three resources, which could include fish. Oh, yeah, I should have waited. <laughs> but it costs seven. <laughs> so there's no discount on anything at the moment. <clears throat> um, do I want to do administration? I don't think I do. So I am going to play Settlement. I am going to spend one of each. And we're going to put a Settlement here. Which gives me three reputation. And three money. That's me done. I am going to play Migrant Armour. So I am going to move this bad boy up to here. And take a stone. So you could move him again. I could move him again and put another stone. Yeah. Or what I might do is move this one to here. Get me great. Oh, and you get the dollar. crocodile, yeah. Yeah, you want to be getting rid of the farmers early, don't you? Because that's just one card for one resource. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I was to build roads here, would I get points for that? You would. You get one point. Well, you get the points for the roads, and but you get you one extra first... point. Okay, so let's do that. Let's play a couple of grapes mm -hmm. and stick. Yep. One there and one there. One there and one there. So four points. One, two, yeah, into the lead. So those spaces are, I mean, that was developed anyway, but now this is developed. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you can't put farmers on developed spaces? I guess not. No, farmers can only go on undeveloped spaces. So as the game goes on, more and more the map gets developed. I mean, you're not going to be placing farmers anyway, are you? Mm. Hmm. Mm, indeed. What are you going to do, Robert? Okay, I'm going to play the order. Order. And that so means I can discard one of three two cards. to the bottom to get money. So I'm going to put my two roads. Uh, I'll put the bridge at the bottom. Oh. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. So I'll put the bridge at the bottom for you two get too money. Many. You could put up to three cards on the bottom of the mm. game. I'm just putting them on. And get six money. Yeah, yeah. seems really good. <clears throat> it would allow me to get up. I bought that bridge, but I couldn't work out how to use it. So right, <laughs> I'm, I've got a problem now. Well, I'm never going to get any money from from income because you need to be I, playing your cards. I need to play slow cards. Yeah, get them out, and I can't. Well, remember, you can play a card and get two money. Okay, yeah. you don't have to do the action on the card. Um, None of us have done that yet. 
There's so many crocodiles on there to give you a buck to yeah, removing a crocodile. Yeah, play, play farmer and get a... But it's, it's slower. Isn't it? it is slower. So you get one dollar and a grape. And your grape. Right. I think I'm going to do some administration. Yeah, I'm going to do administration. I have one card in hand, so I get two dollars. <coughs> I'm going to remove. Uh, problem is, people have got cards that put things on things. Yeah, removing them from here now might give you opportunities, but might also give ah, other people opportunities. Pesky five player games. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I've no idea. Let's remove those two, which gets me another two dollars. I get three cards back. One, two, three, and then I can buy more cards if I want to. I'm not going to. And then we remove the Great Trader. Yep. We then put minus ones on the rest. In yep. The minus ones on the rest. Mm. One hundred and two. Okay. So what's come in? Town has come in, which is basically spend one of each basic resource, convert a settlement into a town. Get six victory six, points. Six reputation and two. And when you convert it into a town, it's still a settlement. It's still a settlement. Which yeah. affects settlements. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, I am going to create a vineyard. So I'm going to place, mm. put me grape and me stone. I'm going to take one of these extensions and put it on here. It's on a developed spot. Just check that's right, but I'm pretty sure it is. So that is... It needs to be a spot that has a road. Yep. A developed, yeah. Place a workshop. Well, there are other ways to be developed. Oh, is there? Place a workshop on any grape space that is already developed by a road or bridge. That still counts. So it specifically <laughs> says developed by a road or bridge, because the yeah. iconography has a, little a road, road or bridge. It. So that is a developed space, but you can't put... Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Either way, I think <clears> that works. So I shall take my one, two, three victory points. And I will take my three grapes. Um, I will play yeah. Wheat Trader. Put a guy mm -hmm. on a settlement. Let's make, put it on that one. Yeah. And get three wheat. Get three wheat, please. <laughs> wheat me up. <laughs> Before you go, go. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> Other 80 songs are all. <laughs> yeah, plenty of simply red ones. Aren't there? Yeah. <laughs> well, looking at this wonderful stuff here, seeing which one I want. That's, oh, it, that's it quite nice, isn't it? But if I if I got that, I'd be a bit short of money. I want some money to buy back a few of these. <clears throat> Um, <coughs> is there a bank card in this? Yeah. There's a tax collector, we saw it. It's, it's in the so back here. This one gives you victory points and wheat, victory points and grapes. Um, or just three of whatever you like. Um, including the, the the fish. Not that we know what the fish is for yet. Uh, a banquet requires a fish. Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like getting this one because it gives you such flexibility, so that's four money. Four money. <clears throat> we have <clears throat> pit number 48. Ooh, it's going to be all the way down the bottom. Okay, so the pit <clears throat> sounds like a lovely place. Uh, place one workshop on any stone space as explained. Under... Oh, right, it's the <clears throat> same as the farm and the vineyard, but yeah. for rocks. I'll cost you, my... cost you that. And you get that. It doesn't give yeah. you quite as many. These that gives you four. Yeah, it's weeks. the same no, as that only gives you three. Yeah. It's the same as my right. one that gave me three because it's just a cheaper one. So farmer, continue with my subsistence farming plan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got to have a road into it. That's why there's yeah. a road there. Road or a bridge. Right. Can I have another dollar one? and a grape. Uh, grape. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I go here instead? Get the uh, wheat. 
so I don't have any wheat yet. <clears throat> Sorry, not <clears throat> wheat. Was a wheat. Right, okay. I, ch I changed my mind. Oh, you wanted wheat. Right, okay. I changed my mind. Um, right, well, I got loads of money. And there's yeah, some nice money. cards there. How much money have you got, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, eleven. You kept it in singles. Just buy, think. buy the whole of Egypt in one go. <laughs> Washing day, obviously. <laughs> so now that homestead, there is nowhere that that homestead can actually go at the moment. No. So my my question is, can you place a plantation here next to a settlement? I think you can. Uh, it's it's developed so. by a road. It doesn't say. It says that you place it on any space that is already developed by a road or a bridge. Doesn't say mm. that there can't be a settlement there. But none of none of the examples have a settlement there. I'm just looking. No, every single example in the rule book doesn't have a workshop on a space with a settlement mm. but I, i'm not sure if so there's a rule that i'm missing sort of implies that it's developed by a road but not by a settlement or town it does doesn't it if anybody knows the answer please let me know brian mm. thinks one thing per space yes unless it's like an upgrade like an extension of a workshop or a family for settlement mm. yeah we'll, we'll go with that because that seems to make the most sense um, I don't know where that is in the rule book. If anybody knows, mm. let me know. Um, so at the moment, yeah. So I mean, I could, I could put a plantation there. Let, let's do that. Let, let's buy the plantation card for four. One, two, three. Must have been in on my vineyard business over there. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Number twenty-eight. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, no cards in one. Who shuffled these? Twenty-eight is the supplier. Place a worker on any settlement, gain two resources of your choice, which could be fish. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we have it confirmed. You can't have a town with a workshop. So we'll go with that. I don't know where it is in the rules, I'm but it does it, make sense. But yeah. Right, I'm going to go into administration or do administration. So you've got one card in hand. So I get two. Presumably you're going to remove two workers. I am. And I am going to... <laughs> Remove this one and this one. Right, and then we remove the lowest numbered card with a discount token on it. And I need to buy back one. my deck. So yeah. we put a discount token one, on all of the other ones. Two, three. How many more do you want to buy, if any? I want to buy any. 86. So 86 comes in there. The escort. Oh, that's a new one. And straight in at number seven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number Rising 40 topic. places from last week. <laughs> I don't want to sound too much like a top of the pop no. presenter from the 70s, do I? No, because most of them are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> so the soldiers of the Pharaoh need to parade through Fayum. Move one upright worker uh, from a settlement to one to three other settlements along directly connected roads. The destination must not have a worker. Oh, that's mean. Then you remove that worker. If you move from to one settlement, pay $2, get four reputation. Two settlements, $4, five reputation. All the way to three settlements, $6, six reputation. But it's like, that's no use because there's one <clears> at <throat> the other end. Yeah. Mm, seems very complicated. Yes. A lot of uh, mental energy required to get all <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mental energy being a bit thin on the ground at the moment. <laughs> Whose go was that? That was mine. Right, so it's. Um, I'm going to do some administration. Is that the cards in hand? Uh, I've got one. So that's $2. $2. <clears throat> How many workers do you want to remove from the board? <sighs> all of them. It's up to two. Isn't up it? to two. <laughs> let's take those two. All of them. For another two. Yeah, let's, let's take. Um, <laughs> Kill them all. That one and that one. Throw them over there. You get another two dollars. Revenge right. of the alligators. Then yeah. you draw. I think the crocodiles are getting a mean. They're not getting a good deal in this game. Take the top three cards of your discard pile. Yeah, one, two, three. And yep. then decide how many more you want to buy. Uh, oh, I can pay money to get more. One dollar for each one. Oh, no, no, you farmers, sorry. Oh, it's on page five. Thank you, Brian. And then, and then we remove the bottom one. 
this one yes yeah. <clears throat> shuffled off uh, and we'll um, add that oh, one back in there. Except this is a rule book with no page numbers. Uh, number 60. Ah. It was in here. So I've got count. Straight in at number two. The gem That's search. The one as well. Doesn't get a thing. That's the one that lays the people no. down. Gem searches. What number is it? Uh, number 60. Either. Right, lay body. down one to five upright workers on any spaces, pay one dollar per worker. Right, that's what that means. The prone workers can be removed only by playing the gem searchers card again and choosing the second option. And the second option is remove all prone workers from the board, gain three dollars per worker. Ooh. Does it say what if what kind of space they have to be la laid down in? On any spaces. Ooh. But where, wherever you lie them down, it means that other people won't be able to pick them up for a while. Or do it, so what I'm thinking of is, <laughs> if you lay down all the ones on the escort spots, it would make the escort card useless, because they can't take right, them away. Right. It's quite mean. Right. <laughs> Sorry, it's my, my evil brain going. Did you, did you just have your turn, Peter? I think I've done everything associated with administration. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. So, yeah. yeah, you'll go. I would like to do the senior supplier. So can you put a worker on that red uh, settlement? Yeah. Oh, and you get and three then of any... I've got three <coughs> of you're anything that, except I? roses. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's have... I'm not sure if I need fish very much at the moment. Um, so let's have um, one of each of the basics, please. <clears throat> One settlement uh, worth of goods. Okay. <clears throat> I'll probably give it oh, a go. Wait a minute, I've got another idea. Um, chuck the chuck the grape and give me a stone. <clears throat> right, wrong. Yeah. Well, I'm giving the game away by having four money in my hand. I'm going to buy the town. <clears throat> State on the start. Yeah. Yep. Start. Start. Number fifty-six. So that will come in. Oh, right. right. It's the knocking the gem searchers down from assistant. position two to three. It's put a worker on a workshop. Is get three resources. Moment, but, yeah. mm. but it has. It's the. It's three of the one that you're on. I think that's is. what the exclamation mark is. I think, I think, I think is three of wherever it is that you're on. Is it uh, fifty-six? Yeah. I think that's what that means, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure the exclamation mark. Yeah, three matching resources. Yeah. Doesn't say. Oh, it said matching. Yeah. Yeah, that means. Well, I think it matches previously... where the workshop is. Matches where the workshop yeah, is. That's it very... makes sense. If you go to a great <clears throat> place, you're going to get sense. great. That's what it means when you're building <laughs> roads. I'm going to play Jack Bauer, and we're going to go. Yeah. Get a dollar, and I get some wheat. Yeah. Done. Hey, music playing in the background. The wizard, I think it was. Wasn't it? Well, they uh, announced all the child positions. There's that music in the background. Right, well, <laughs> I have a lot of grapes, and there's not really. <laughs> you do have a lot of uh, grapes. So, what I'm. Uh, I can't do that. No, okay. So, I might use my migrant farmer to start and get something else. So, uh, let's, I don't want to free up these for people to use them, so I'm going to move that guy to left <laughs> and get one of those, and then I'm going to gain me dollar yep. and a week for doing that. Such a tricksy little game. Mm. And management. And, the, and deck management. Yeah, it's the moving the, the <clears throat> workers around as well. This. Well, I've looked into the future, and the future is wheaty. So I'm going to put a, a, a guy in there, please. And get three wheat. And get three wheat for it. He's, a, he's upright still. I mean, that is a lot of wheat. Have you got all <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like he knows there's a famine coming or a drought. Just funny you should mention that. This card I've got here. My go cost seven a week. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I want to do two roads. Um, so can you build two roads from that one over there to this one here? Yeah, that's what I need. Two stones. Yes. Two stones. Get you four points. Lovely. Uh, 
Uh, that's it. What so color you are? Yellow. One, two, three points. Four. Four points because you. Four oh to... yes. Yeah. That was that was what I was trying to do. Yeah. I might need to administrate soon. I mean, you got no cards in hand. No cards. Well, you've been efficient. One of the things know. that appealed to me is I like the thing in Concordia. Concordia. Yeah. Mm. How far right. It's not. It's not the same, really. No, but uh, it's it's doing something it's a similar. Nice, there's a there's a level of similarity with that mechanic. Mm -hmm. How far am I going to get stoned? <clears throat> Okay. All sorts of places. Here we you can go there. As well. Uh no, because that's developed. Okay, okay, here then. Thank you. It's a stone. Stone, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's the tricky bit, is remembering that that's developed because yes. there's, there's yeah. Uh right. right. So you can't build a road out of here and then into there. Yeah, you, you can, can. Mm. get the four victory points. You can have well. junctions where there's a settlement or, or a building site. site. Oh, right, okay. You just need two stone. Right. But you can't have a junction in the place where the workshop is. No. It's settlements and Settlements and building sites, yeah. So, I think, speaking of settlements, I'm going to spend a wheat, a grape, and three money to buy a stone from Dave next door. Good old Dave. And we're going to have the settlement. With the quality of that stone. It's work with you, nice. Hmm. Pesky other players. <laughs> sure. I'll put it there. You get three. One, two, three, and three money. Done. Well, can't look a good thought in the mouth, I suppose. Yeah, so I wasn't sure play. whether you had it. Who <laughs> knows? Do that. We love to see what other people's discards. I'm not sure. Oh. You you are yes. You're you supposed are. to ban them out. Oh right. Okay. Oh, really? I'm sure. So yeah. you, you would know. You would know that. I, I would have known. Yeah. But it's all right. I'm happy to. No no no. That's no, fine. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We're all good. I don't think you're allowed to look at what's in people's hands. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you got four points for that. Four points for that. Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay. Mm, six money. And that, oh, that, the gem searches, they just look like so much fun. <laughs> Knocking them down and then sticking, I can't resist that, I'm sorry. Like, it's going to turn out to destroy my game, but just for the fun of it. Yeah. Okay. So this one comes here, so that one comes on the current market so we now have fish in play in the banquet right which is <clears throat> number what's the 94. number 90. um place one worker upright on any building site a wheat a grape a fish and six dollars to gain eight reputation wow let's mm. <clears throat> these banquets <laughs> our chinese is it one on a tuesday night <laughs> <laughs> do you have to provide I can, can do I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I haven't got very much money left. I can't buy that. So administration. Yeah, so I'm gonna So I'm just gonna give you five dollars assuming that you are removing two workers from the board. Right. I will, yes. So um <clears throat> so I pick up And then you get three cards back. Right, uh, so which ones shall I pick up? Um let's pick up Preferably two off settlements <laughs> oh, I can play this card. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you wouldn't uh, that one there that one there yeah there go. and that one there, oh, that one there. my jedi powers there. <laughs> yeah oh, sorry <laughs> Just... so you um, get your, you get top three cards for free yeah and then how many more do you want to so buy i'd like that one okay some money and enough <laughs> yeah i'll try i'll try that okay i'll give it a go <clears throat> right and then <clears throat> This one disappears off the bottom. That here. one disappears. Um, <clears throat> he's getting them on. Does that one get another one? No. Nope. Fortunately not. <laughs> and you only have the lowest discounted one. Yeah. Number 16, uh, the grape supplier. I don't know whether anybody wants that at this stage. <clears throat> no. Hmm. 
Uh, again, lots of really good cards came out early, so we're all been uh, flushed with really good cards. I'm going to go with a cheeky, cheeky two. It's Vi Vega. Yep. I'm going to play a wheat and a grape. Just going to these two. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Through there. You. Yes. So four points. Thank you. Three points. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the first time they're connected. First time yeah. that those two have been connected. <laughs> nice. I think when I last played it, I think I'm now remembering where I got confused because surely that one is now connected to that one, but it, In, it's indirectly, it's directly mm. connected. Is is the difference? Yes. You just wouldn't be able to do that now, would you? Yeah. Uh, with a bridge, maybe. <laughs> um. Right. Well, I'm going to play the wheat supplier. Put it on there and get two wheat. I was then going to use to build two roads there. Makes sense. I, however, I'm going to. You can't set <clears throat> much up in a five player game because somebody will grab it. Well, I just yeah. picked, booked up, picked up two workers and, and got the spaces have gone yeah. before, well before it's my turn. Yeah. Really great. We've got some money. <clears throat> <clears throat> All the grapes. And There's still loads of crocodiles out. We've been uh, busy. At some point, it feels <laughs> like the board's going to close back up again. Do we have to go and clear our crocodiles. I think I'll send my gardener into uh, here. Do a bit of gardening. There you go. There's a crocodile gone. Um, getting rid of crocodiles is an essential part so of agriculture, as we all know. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Robert. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Because I didn't, I didn't take that. that. I mean, nice. I can't get rid of crocodiles. Hopefully I can manage, but we'll see what happens. See, you could add administration again. All of my, I could, I don't know. <laughs> Possibly. Not right now. Maybe soon. <laughs> if I get in a mess. So I'm looking at that one. That seems quite good. Oh, uh, that, that gets me thing. grapes. Um, that could get me anything in principle. So that costs. Is there more than one money. person there? Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> No, we only have one worker on each space. I took the one off that was there. Mm -hmm. um, let's just turn on my uh, other camera. Yeah, I'll get this one. So that's three money. <clears throat> and uh, the assistant. Can you give me two change, please? Did you just call me the assistant? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the card that I've just acquired. Oh, okay. So it's a bit it's cheeky a, otherwise. <laughs> it's got an L, an L shape on it, so... Yeah, it was the one I was looking at. It hasn't quite passed his test. Uh, put the template on and move down. There we go. Mm. That's what it looks like from the other camera. Number 88 is Vaporous. Did you click? Oh, yeah. Can we, uh, that can we have a... good from that angle, actually. What was Number 88. Can we leave that angle on? What, what do you think? If people are watching, <clears throat> do you prefer that angle? You're going to say it's upside down, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, again, I can... Uh, I think I can. Yeah, but oh, then he does uh, that. Uh, <laughs> Which is just. I'm going to get vertigo. Like, yeah, that's just weird. Weird. yeah, we <laughs> that's don't, we, we don't want that. We don't want that. So let's let's just put that back. Uh, where is it gone? Transform. Rotate. So yeah, we can have that on if if you want. The board is upside down. Let me know which you prefer. Uh, and what card have we got coming out? Papyrus. Papyrus eighty eight. Copy the action of the top card of your discard pile. Oh, that's uh, mm. Concordia. Yes, <laughs> bit, bit like that. Some Concordia, someone else's, isn't it? Somebody else's. Oh, you're right. There is one that's no. Wrong, isn't there? No. Because you put the card on the thing and then you do it. Oh, okay. It's the. Mm. I can't remember. Yeah, I thought there was one that was your own and one that was mm. other people's. Mm. No. Not the senator. It's, it's the diplomat. Diplomat. diplomat that's yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> diplomat. You're so right. Dark Mind likes this angle. <laughs> right. We're going to go with this angle. <laughs> Claim it out of power, a senior farmer, and he's going to go on um, uh, this. So I get a money, you get a dollar, and two 
uh, to wheat. wheat. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, I'm going to play plantation. So I'm going to put it here. Can I have a workshop, please? Oh, I don't have the resources. Um, so I have to spend three money for the missing stone. It gets me three reputation. One, two, three. And four grapes. New plantations. One, two, three, four. Wowzers. Right. What can I do with these grapes? Yeah, that's... Great wine. I'll show good yeah, yeah, not, not a lot. I'll trade them for wheat. I'm waiting for a card that comes out that says, if you've got more than 10 wheat, you win the game. <laughs> gonna be, there's got to be one in there somewhere. Well, I think I'm going to have to go into administration again. So I will have two pounds. And you're removing two workers? And I'll be removing two workers. So it's four. So I'll very much. And I think... I'm going to remove that one. And, and then uh, take back the top three cards. One, two, three. Do I need to put a farmer down? No, I'm going to hold on to that as it is, and then we'll replace the bottom. Uh, the bottom. Uh, we get rid of the escort. The escort. The escort was gone. But none of us have to work it out. Well, I was hoping to get it because I need to line up now, isn't it? Yeah. Number 96. Oh, crocodile sacrifice. Oh, it's getting even worse for the crocodiles. <laughs> it's just so unfair. No, that, that's not looking good for the crocodile, is it? He's not. <laughs> so he's put a put a worker on a building site. Yeah. Take Remove a, a crocodile from the board. Get, get three, three points. victory points for it. Right. <clears throat> it's a bit mean, isn't it? It is. This is like the opposite of Ark, Ark Nova. <laughs> Is it me now? Yeah. No, 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 it's me. Yeah. Look at him trying to steal my go. Did you see that? He didn't call you the assistant at least, no, so. I've got that small blessing, I suppose I should be grateful for. Uh, let's do a little bit of farmalizing. Um, with, um, let's put this, that's sorry, sorry. At least you weren't sacrificed. You, just you, can, you can come over here. I'll, 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 <laughs> He's gone off to live on a farm. <laughs> a little farm. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, senior supplier, uh, can you put a geezer on that one, please? And I get three resources, which could be fish. So let's have. <clears throat> um, Let's have two wheat and two wheat. No, let's have one one wheat and two stone, please. <clears throat> okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna play a missile numbers. So it's one of each type of resource. One of each basic resource. Yeah. Where is the settlement going? Um somewhere. Uh, doesn't really matter too much to me. Uh, I think I'll put it there. Um, three money and three points. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Admin. So I'm going to get four money. One, two, three, four, because I'm going to remove. Hmm. Yeah, let's remove that one and that one. And then I get back these three cards. And. Arrgh. I am going to pay a dollar take that back and we get rid of the grape supplier it's much on me turn that's all we got <laughs> comes at the bottom it's the trader 24 costs one to three of anything <laughs> and you get a rose for each one it's got to be for each one 
Yeah. Okay. Three times both things. Yeah. Like. Probably, uh, yeah. Yeah. Convert up to three resources into roses. Choose the same or different. Mm -hmm. Boom. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this extra stuff, like extensions and palaces and bridges, I've seen I've not seen yet. yet. And how do we get fish? 22. You get fish. This one, oh, Robert's I've got, got a thing that can oh, get me fish. Okay, but you're the only one. <clears throat> this one here can get me fish. At the moment, senior yeah. supplier. So this is but number 22. Mean? That's at the bottom as well. Uh, mm. 22 refinement. <clears throat> so spend. No, no, no. Not spend stuff. What number is it? 22. 22. I think you, you choose two of your items that you have and they just multiply yeah. instantly. They breed. <laughs> Mm. So if you, if you you can't fish. get fish if you haven't got fish. There's one of them breeding grapes. Yeah. So you've got you've got a monopoly on fish now, Robert. I'm sure it won't last very long. Right. I'm sure I'm there's another way play, of getting fish. I'm going to play gem searchers. Oh, the palace isn't going to be to the very end, says Bart. Thank you. Right. Gem searchers <laughs> and. Oh, here we go. I'm going to pay three. So you lay down three <laughs> workers. Three workers lay down. <laughs> Me. Now they can't be removed, can they? But not until he takes them off using them again. Hard day on the can't be removed by anyone apart from Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my game. I did say it would be mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> <let's work. laughs> Let's build two roads over there. Across that stony yeah. bit. Stone, stone, stone and stone. Yeah. yeah. So four points. Um, Eleven. Done. I'm not going to play my stone trader, which is uh, I put a worker on a mm -hmm. settlement and get three stone. I put mine on my new new settlement and get three stone. Thank you. I'm going to play a farmer. Yeah. I get one stone. I shouldn't have bought that card. No, shouldn't have done it. I should have just used money instead of stone. Yeah, if I'm not careful, I'm going to have an excess of. <laughs> Mm. Resources on this 32, oh, uh, 32 comes in put, at the bottom. Put it this way, getting whatever uh, I want back out uh, of the me. <laughs> yeah, so put a worker on a settlement and then you can sell one or two roses for three points each. Uh, right, well, I'm going to go into administration. I'll take one money, please. Are you removing mm. two workers? Um, yes. So there you go. Ooh. Three money then. That's remove let's remove let's remove these two and then uh this one goes papyrus yep who needs writing anyway is that ever good for new one is 30 so it oh. comes at the bottom yeah throws in at the bottom yeah. throws in at number one number 30 the marketer <laughs> Put a worker on a settlement, and up to three times you can buy a good for money. Mm -hmm. Really fish. Yeah. Quite nice. Oh, well, I get the top three. And now. And you can buy more if you want. Can I pay mm -hmm. for them out of the money that I've just been given? Yep. Yep. That's interesting. Monica's here. Hi, Monica. Thank you for joining in. Thought it was one of Paul's older games from his collection. Yeah. So the artwork didn't do this game any favours. It's it's very very simple, and it looks like a game from thirty years ago. It does look very. It does look out. Yeah. Or it doesn't look like a game from three. No, it doesn't. No, three thousand nine hundred years no. ago. True. <laughs> so yes, I can do the thing that I was hoping to do. Can you put a worker on that workshop and give me three grapes? Three of that. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. this. It's an assistant, so whatever that thing makes, I get three of it. Well, I'm wondering if that marketer, marketer is a really good a low number, though, isn't it? 
No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to play a town instead. Mm -hmm. um, oh, three money. so we're converting a settlement into a town. Yeah, three money and two, yep. two other resources required. Um, I convert my... my... It, it's not yours. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, technically it isn't. But you I... can convert that, that settlement into a town. Yeah. Might be called Robsville. <laughs> I get two money. Two money, six points. Six points. <laughs> what colour are you? Oh, right. I've lost my lead. I am playing mm. two roads. I am spending two grapes. And I am building a road here, which I think is allowed. Mm -hmm. And a road there, which I think is allowed. I get three points. Oh, you're giving me choices now. Points are points, right? So Points are apparently points. I'll build two roads with two true. grapes. Mm. And that is now connected for the first time. So four points. So four points. A lot of this seems to be cheeky road building. Well, since you mentioned <laughs> it, let's come out of here and yeah. go into there. We can do that, can't we? Uh, yeah, that's fine. It's de, de So that's three points. Uh, yeah. Getting the coastal road. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm gonna what it costs discard this. Bounce, bounce the ball, Biddy yeah. <laughs> yeah. Discarding this one for two money, please. Oh, you're just gonna play it? Because I need some money. You're gonna play it to get two money? Yeah. Oh, I was just thinking that. We've done that earlier on in the game. Mm. For my advantage that I didn't think of it. On the, on the thing, it's shown with a red cross, so I think they're thinking of it as a discard. Yeah. yeah, you put it on your discard pile, don't you? Well, I've got to administrate. Administer okay. Um, Cards in hand? Zero. Are you removing two workers? Yes. Five yeah. money? Yep. Yeah. I'll remove the worker from Robsville. Robsville, Arizona? Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, no, I don't want to give all three uh, workshop placements, so I'll take it from there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. you got your five money. Uh, Have three cards and buy back more if you want. Uh, I'm going to buy back one more. Well, then the banquet goes. Yeah. Oh, I was looking forward to that. I like Egyptian food. Yeah. Then the 72 minus black pile. Oh, and it goes perfectly back in the spot there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Which it is, is a monument. We found finally the one. What number is it? Number 72. 72. Place one to three building blocks on any building site as explained under 12, sacrifice. <laughs> so card number 12, which hasn't come out yet, but is a really early one, is place one building block on any building site. Workers there stay. Each building site has a limit shown by the number of blocks. Okay, so that one is place one to three building blocks. If you place two or three blocks, you can place them on a different site or the same site. For each placed block, pay one stone to gain two reputation. So, so that's one stone, stone, stone before you <clears throat> build a monument. Makes sense. <laughs> so, right. There's all sorts of stuff I want to do here. But. Uh, can't have a town here because it's got to be two away, haven't they? Yeah. Let's. I mean, I'm going to get these three cards back. Unless I buy, I've not really been looking at what else there is there. Crocodile sacrifice. Don't, yeah. listen, don't listen, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think... Wasn't it Pontins had a crocodile? Was it Pontins? Yeah, it, it was. It was. Um, what was he called? Something <laughs> like Captain Croc or... I'm going to put that there to get two wheat. Right. Okay, done. Right. I'm going to place a trader and I'll leave Robsville <laughs> just for now and I'll place it over here. Thank you. Um, oh, which... yeah, Robsville's available, isn't it? It is available. Uh, I didn't realise. Yeah. Well, strictly not, isn't it? It's, well, yeah. <laughs> and if your name's Rob. Uh -huh. um, and then I get one to three. Uh, I have to spend one to three of anything. 
and I get oh, and get roses. Roses. Mm. All right. Okay. Wow. Which are wild cards. Nice. So yeah, that's good. Such a good card. Um, right. Well, my gems mm-hmm. purchase. Come on, stand up, you lot. Not so you stand up. up. How many One, of them? Two, three. Two, three. And you get nine dollars. I get nine money. Do they stand yeah, up or do they come off? And change. Yeah, um, good question. I thought they came off. I think well, they come off. I think you're right. Mm-hmm. They come off. Where were they? They disappear. They were. One, two, and three. One, two, three. I'm pretty sure they did. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They've gone back to the uh, job centre. See if there's any jobs. Yeah, they I mean, they've spent the last four turns lying down. So Remove uh, all prone workers from the game. Yeah. I don't think their references are going to be great. I feel quite squeezed between what's here and what's here, mm-hmm. which is quite a good sign. I like that in the game. Uh, the marketer looks really good. I think I'll buy that. You have to have some money to use the marketer, but it's quite good. Yep. So, yeah, spend two money for two the money. marketer. Nice. <clears throat> right. uh, on the thief, number thirty-six uh, comes in at number two. Right in at number two. Now number the thief. Um, Take one of the four cards from the current market for free. Ooh. Place the stolen card on your discard stack, then place the thief on top of it. Got, if a discount cool. token is on the chosen card, place it above the above the card market. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it steals a card and the thief goes on top mm. of the stolen card. Mm. And then you go to jail. Yeah. Do you not pass go? Um, I put my senior farmer here, please, to get a money and two. One money? Uh, two grapes. Two grapes. Thank you. Right. I'm going to play. Oh, I can. I can do it. I'm going to play a settlement. Just see, just see. Because if I put a settlement here, mm-hmm. that's the first connection between there and there. It's just between here and here, isn't it? That you need... Oh, sorry. It's be- uh, oh, yeah, it's between there and there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I get four points. I get points for the roads that are already there as well. Was it just one point for the... Yeah. No, I, I got three points for building the set. Oh, I see, right. Oh, and three money. Okay, so you get an extra point. And, then you get an extra and I got the extra points yeah. because I've linked it to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there you go. Right. I, I was wondering what to do with that card. I'm going to take my two flowers and refine them into four flowers. <laughs> nice. Right, well, I'm going to do something monumental. Let's spend five. Is there a pun there? Probably mm-hmm. trying to get out with, with, without success. Um, oh, that's a good one. Uh, buy the monument card. Don't, don't <laughs> say that next, next to Trevor. <laughs> don't upset Trevor. <laughs> this is, oh, it's it's a low numbered card. Mm. It's number six, the senior farmer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Actually, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, that's, that gets me my stone. I've already got a senior farmer. You do? <laughs> So I think this will work. If I do this, then I can get that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that works. So um, yeah, can you, I'm playing the marketer. Can you put a worker onto that one at the end? Robsville. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. And then I can spend <laughs> one to three times, I can spend one money to get yeah. a resource. So I'll spend two money to get two stone, please. Very much. <laughs> I'm going to make another town. I'm going to spend three money <clears throat> for the missing resources. Yep. But I get two back anyway, so I'll just spend one money. Okay. And two resources. So I've got a uh, town mark here. Oh, uh, and about here. And I get six points. Six points, nice. I am going to play a plantation. Can I have a workshop, please? And there's only no, there's two places, three places. Three places, you can go. yeah. I was looking at that myself. Doesn't really matter, I don't it, think. Although if someone, I put it there, somebody could use it. Can place. So if I put it there, although I'm going to put it has. Does it have to be on grapes? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. So I'm missing a stone. I spend three money for the stone. 
spade of wheat, I get three reputation and four grapes. Done. Nice. So I am going to do the slightly lesser version of that. I'm going to spend my two roses. Put one of these. Let's put it next to Rob's. We'll give him a nice vineyard to look at. Um, and then that gives me three grapes and three victory points, please. For Corey, white. white. How are we doing with cards? Yeah, oh, we well, should we should read at this point <clears throat> what actually happens when you know how how does this final stack enter the game? So after you draw the last card of the draw pile. We continue to draw cards from the final turns stack. Aside from cards with actions, this stack contains four natural disasters. And when these disasters enter there, that triggers the end of the game. So basically, it could be the top four cards. We don't know. There's a variable end state. End state. Why don't you just put these on the box? Well, just to remind people, probably. If I do that. How long we've got to go before. There you go. Thank you. And they change from blue bordered cards to yellow bordered cards at that point as well. So that's another... there are four blue bordered cards in the, in the bottom ah, as well. Right, my go is this. It is your go. Right, I'm so going that's another to reason take... for it to be a separate stack. I'm going to um... administrate. Administrate. Oh yeah, because otherwise you wouldn't know when the end mm. came. Yeah, you might pick up a blue card and think it's just another blue card. But actually, you don't need to. If the game just carries on as normal. Well, it's a warning that the yeah. game's coming yeah. to an end soon. So you're gonna, you've got three card, more than three cards in hand. So you're gonna get no resources from no that. Money, no you money. You get to pick up two farmers off the board. Two workers from the board. Two workers. If you want to. Yeah. That's those two. Yep. Yeah. And then pick up three cards from your discard pile. And buy more if you want to. Does it have to be three? Can I take less than three? It's just three. It's the top three cards from your okay. discard stack. Uh, mm. Right, so that, and then what else do I do? That's you it. can pay one. Oh, and pay one yeah, for you can buy the farmer if you want. No, uh, and this goes. Goats, goats, yeah. Sorry, mm. money man. Number forty-four. Over there. Uh, so before that happens, we just need to. Oh, yeah. All right. You've just got cheaper. Number forty-four is the farm, which yep. was mentioned. You know before. how that works. <clears throat> Well, well, indeed. I'd quite like to buy one of those, but I haven't got any money. <laughs> so maybe I'll play this card instead. Uh, settlement on... Um, <clears throat> where should we... So it can be anywhere that hasn't got crocodiles. Yep. Um, that is two away from another settlement. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and undeveloped. Is that right? Or, uh, no, it can no, be developed. It can be developed, okay. Um... Let's have one here. Mm. And then it's one of each, and I get three money. Three money and three points. Well, so then, thank you. Two, three. Mm. I'm going to administrate. Mm. I have two cards in my hand. Which is one money. money. And are you yes. removing two workers? <laughs> and you get back those three cards yeah and no i've taken three oh you've taken three cards yeah. right okay and buy so more get, if you want I to get three money yep and i can if i might do that and then yep that goes. Get one. that goes that goes and 58. fisher Fish. Yeah, that's the way to get fish. fish. Yep. Number 58. Yeah. You put a guy, two guys in next to. Place one worker, as explained, under farmers. One next to the river. It must be to adjacent the to the channel or the lake. Or one or the other. And gain three fish. Yeah. And remove okay. crocodiles. Has to be adjacent, has to, be adjacent to, to, another, to water. And another farmer, because it's following the rules for farmers. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Administrate. So. Hang on. Three money. Hang on. Oh, hang on. 
Yeah. Unless we're suddenly oh, well, going, yeah, we're you, going anti-clockwise. You deserve a turn. <laughs> I'll let you. Um, well, I got no cards in hand, but, but I'm considering buying. buying something and then playing it. Are you allowed to do that? Buy it and play it. No, no, no. I mean, play it next time. <clears throat> but then, is the card that I want? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Uh we're gonna buy the crocodile sacrifice. Oh no. For six. Resist. <laughs> Let me draw another one. Play the numbered. Twenty. Oh, up. Straight in at number one. The new settlement. Two times things so, that are different from each other. Yeah, two it, different it's, resources. It's a settlement. Settlement. Yeah. And get three money and three so, yeah. victory points. <clears throat> Slightly cheaper settlement. My part, I... Yes, these green things, these are crocodiles. Cro oh. Crocodile, crocod, 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 eeples, crocodile, eeples, dealers, creeples, 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 that's it. <laughs> we got there in the end. Nope. Uh, three victory points and three money. Three points is... white. <clears throat> I'm just thinking of all the games that would be improved if they had crocodiles in. <laughs> Settlers of Qatar, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> is it my go? Yeah. It is your go, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Ooh, there's only five of these workshops. Mm, the play they are limited. They are. The gem yeah. searchers. The only thing that's not limited are these resources. If you run out, <clears throat> find something else. Five money. I'm just not seeing any extensions One, or anything yet, are we? Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. So they're off searching for gems. Yep. What's the money for? Like metal detectors or something. <laughs> <laughs> In 3,900 BC. You do have to pay them. <laughs> yeah, Robert. The look for ah. So I could buy one. I've got some money. So that's quite nice. That looks good. So I could afford that one or that one. Um, so when I do my thing, I can afford to buy some back. So I'll have the thief. That looks quite good. Okay. So you buy that with all that your money? That goes into my hand. Yep. <clears throat> Stone supply number 18. Straight in at number one. Um, yeah, the low number card's coming out now. You put the guy on a settlement and you get, you get two, two stone, stone, which seems pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. I'm going to play my stone trader. I've got a dude on Robsville. Yeah. Um, get three stone. stone. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Time for some sacrificing. <laughs> um, this one. <laughs> three points. Do you pick the one with friends or the one on his own? <laughs> when you're sacrificing them. It depends how far it is back to your settlement when you have to walk at night. Yeah, that's made up. I'm going to administer. So I have one card in hand. Set so another four money if you remove two workers. And another two because I'm going to remove two workers. So I am going to remove uh, one from Robsville. And all the rest are lying down over there. So I'm going to remove uh, that one there as well. Then I take back the top three cards. One, two, three. And then I'm going to pay two. Buy two more cards. Buy two more cards. Okay. And we remove that. Two, three, four. The rest to get the minus one. <coughs> yep. <coughs> 92. Ooh. Five roads. Oh, five I wonder roads. what that does. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but you still pay the, the same. The cost, cost is different. Is it? Yeah. Instead of it being. Two resources to build two roads that gets you a fixed three points. It's one to five, getting you mm. one point for each road that you build. Mm. So you can get a maximum of five points. Yeah. Mm. Five roads? But you get ro your roads built faster. I mean, you could yeah. link up a lot of stuff. <clears throat> you you could. Up, yeah. yeah. You could link up a lot of stuff if that. Mm. Quite tasty. Mm. Who was that? That was me. Oh, so I'm going to build two Oh, roads. I get the one dollar <laughs> when sacrificing a crocodile. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sure I do. 
No, you don't. Because there isn't there isn't That's a proper the icons line. on the card. Yeah. 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 So I don't don't think you do. Bart thinks you do, but Most I don't, of I don't the time, think you do. If you take a crocodile off the board, you get a dollar. But, but I think that's not one example double. where it doesn't happen. Yeah. <clears throat> where did you just go? <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't say. Right, so. Oh, right. right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you got your three points for that? Seems a good idea to steal something. So, so you take any card steal. without paying for it. Yeah. Um, they all seem good. Um, <clears throat> did you get a way to, to get? Did you find a way of getting rid of fish? Because I know you were getting them, but did you? <laughs> did you find it? I haven't a way of, found a way of spending fish. Oh, okay. So maybe I should get the five roads thing. Mm -hmm. um, that goes underneath the thief. Right. Okay. And we get another card. Mm. 64. Straight in at number four. Bizarre. How bizarre. Mm. Spend two and take one of them. Pay $2, then take one of the four cards from the current market into your hand. If there is a discount token, you only pay $1. Okay. So basically, buy any card from the market mm. for cheap. Mm. Cheap, cheap. Interesting. What I was going to do now? Sorry, guys. Um, you were going to give me all of your stone. <laughs> in an act of generosity. Hey, look, the stone suppliers. No. <coughs> I'm going to build Affordable now. two roads. Yeah. I'm going to spend three money to make up one mm -hmm. of the resources, which is yep. a elite. And I'm also going to spend the great okay. to go there and there. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. So that is a direct connection between those two settlements. Yep. So four points. Okay. Administration for me. <laughs> and I will be removing two workers and I've got no cards in hand, so I get five money. Um, <clears throat> one. Two. And do I want to buy that? In fact, do I want to buy that back as well? Yes, I do. So I'm going to spend two dollars to buy two extra cards. Done. Okay, I am going to play a migrant farmer, so I'm going to move one there. Walk. And um, let's get myself a dollar for getting rid of a crocodile. And a wheat. And a wheat. So many uh, workers on the board. No, we keep removing them. I'm going to spend two money and buy stone supply. Yeah, I've attempted. Is the one of those in Caverna? Probably. 104. Okay. So Channel it, Festival, Canal Fest, sounds better. So the baker comes in. 104. Yeah. It goes in there. Canal Festival. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. Administrate. So I. Five money. Uh, yes, please. <clears throat> then I get three. And then you move two off the board as well. As you say, there's not many workers on the board. Now, so which one? We're all doing which ones, one, yes. one, two, or three. Um, which <laughs> I can't get the lying down ones. No, I see. no. Yeah, so um, uh, um, <clears throat> let's have that one over there and that one over. There. Okay, and then I can spend money to pick up more cards. Mm -hmm. So um, I definitely want three more. Don't really want that, but I want this. So <laughs> I have to buy five. So you're spending all of your yeah, money. But I'll, I'll get rid of it soon using that other card. So wow. that's five. Yeah. 
I've got one that can send it to the bottom. Yeah. So, um, and then, and then we remove that. Let's go on that. <clears throat> 34. Straight in at number one, the crook. We've already got the thief. Spend a victory point. Spend points to get money. For money. Okay. Which victory point is yeah, that? the one where you spend yeah. reputation to get money. Yeah. So you could spend three reputation to get 12 money. Nice. <laughs> a real thief. Um, senior farmer. Um, I'm going to farm here. I think I get two wheat. You can only put him next to another farmer. Oh, right. There's one farmer. Okay. <laughs> okay. And if that wasn't there, then no, I'd put Then it you could go anywhere. I'll get <clears> there. <throat> Two grapes. The money, please. There's the money. Thank you. Oh, and <clears throat> there's the grapes. Thank you. <clears throat> this is kind of thematically confusing now. <laughs> <laughs> um. But, yeah, I suppose the lying down ones aren't farmers anymore, are they? They're general ones. They're not. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <clears throat> They've given up their job. Yeah. Um. Darn. I had great plans for this, but I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to build two roads, spending two grapes. I'm going to build there. No, hang on a minute. I can build there and there. You can. You get four points. Nice. Okay, done. <laughs> Having seen that, mm -hmm. I could now build here, but it's do I do that? <laughs> Where? Yeah. So do I do it's two that? stone though? Ah, stone and rose. So do I do that or do I do? You know what? I think I'm going to stick with my original game plan. So I'm going to do that and that, and then put one of these here. Mhm. Mm I'll have three victory points for white, please, and I get three greens. One, two, three. That's me. Okay, going into administration. So I take those three. Did you spend the resources? Right. You did. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kill those two um, farmers. Get two bucks. Get two money. These cards back. The fisher goes. Mm hmm. Discount moves on to the crook. Yep. Oh. Uh, number 42. Mm -hmm. Almost like your gardener. It, but... It's almost More. the same as the gardener. You get two two roaches instead of one. Yep. <clears throat> really good. Mm -hmm. Place of work next to a river. Mm -hmm. Subject to the normal rules. Not, not, not farmer rules, just not next farmer. to a river. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that seems quite good. Seems better than my senior farmer. That's a good one, except there aren't any <laughs> there are places where no, 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 no. He's, he's placing it a oh, he's placing a work on it. It's true. We, we've gone, we haven't gone totally down the vineyard, yeah, so, in this game. So, right, um, a lot of drunk Egyptians. I'm thinking, ah, there's the card that converts the wine, the mm -hmm. grapes into wine, yeah, because you've already got. One of them somewhere. Mm. I've got a thing that uh, I've got an assistant which can go on any workshop. But that oh, just produces, okay. produces, produces resources, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I can produce lots of grapes with that. Mm. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so two. A settlement. Uh, it costs one of each. Whoops. 
and let's have a settlement. Which mm. is free money. Mm. Near the bridge. So, um, yep. Yeah. Go there. Not to be too um, not two away from the settlement. It. Let's have it there. Yeah, that's oh. a bit better. Well, that's too easy for people to build build roads. Let's go. They're kind of all. I mean, yeah. They're kind of all Let's go over. here. Nice. And it might turn into. No. Okay. Uh, two, three points. Yeah. Another settlement as well. Um, I'll pay three money. Oh no, sorry, what's the, what's the, that? I was going to get. I was going to buy the bazaar. Uh, four, four money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, goes in your hand. Get the money. Let's New card. What's there? Twelve. Wow. <laughs> the hey, the one that allows you to build sacrifice. Monuments. Is that so do you do that card, is that card that from your hand or something? Number 12. Well, maybe you discard a card out. from your collection of cards. Looks like it's gone, doesn't it? <clears throat> uh, place a building block on any building site. Each building site has a limit for building blocks. Remove one of your cards from the game. Gain one reputation and three dollars. You can choose any card from your hand, your discard stack, or even this card. Mm. Only one victory point, but that's pretty mm -hmm. good. Say more. Uh, let's go here and get some wheat. Well, I would be mm. remiss if I didn't take this opportunity just for three victory points. Yeah. So I shall go in here because I can spend a grape and go out of there and spend another grape. Yeah. So that's linked to those two for four points. Yep. Stone supplier. Can I have two stones, please? Sure. Where are you going to get stones from? Um, so many places. <laughs> Options. Get it from the grapes. Yeah. <laughs> To start charging. Yeah. <laughs> it does feel like some of these roads need like a toll or something on them, doesn't it? Could see like you know you could have stocks and shares, you know, maybe like an eighteen XX game. Yeah. We have no farmers <laughs> on the board now. No. Mm -hmm. So if you place a farmer, you can place them go in. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm short of money, and there's a crook there. Do I want to get the crook? Um. So does this generate mm. for each resource you spend? Uh, oh, one. Let's have a look. What number is it? Two. Uh, number one hundred and four. Mm. Hey, one resource of your choice. For each of up to nine settlements next to the channel. Okay. Gain two reputation per supplied town and one reputation per supplied settlement that is not a town. So these are the only two at the moment. So, yeah, you're supplying resources to settlements and towns that are on the channel. Mm. So you get two points. The future market has not moved yet. Uh well, no, I mean, it's been moving as the game goes on, but it's now got 100, 102, got 104, 106. So I think that is now stuck because I think the cards only go up to 106. I think, although four were taken out. Mm. So sure. So what card <clears throat> would you use to play these? Um, uh, I've got a vineyard. And I've got right. a plantation. Okay, that's where they've been filling up. Yeah, I've played it three times, I think. Okay. <laughs> I've done the same. I don't know where the quarry went, and I don't know where the one that allowed you to place workshops in this went. But again, they might be out of the game. We don't. We don't know. 
Mm -hmm. Star Does move quite quickly. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Robert. It's, it's me. Uh, let me play the order right. to send one to three cards to the bottom of the deck. Which just one? Just one for two money. That's such a good card. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to spend. I'm going to play settlement. Uh, spend two um three money. For which two which you get back? Yes. Um, I'm going to put a settlement somewhere and gain three victory points. Um, I think it's going to be difficult to put it somewhere where someone isn't going to immediately score those points. Correct. That's pretty good. That's easy for other people, isn't it? Oh, I suppose that's one to there, to there, but... Yeah. Um, make it at least two. Yeah. Uh, three, three points? Three points. Um... Well, we're running out of spaces for building settlements. Is that available? Because that's, those aren't adjacent, are they? <laughs> I believe it is. Oh, it's adjacent it's, to that one, though. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, the, there's very few other places available. Yeah. So, I think that's where it's going to go. I spend the three money to buy the missing stone, I get the three money back. And I get three points. Should have done them the other way around. <clears throat> right. Did you finish your turn? Sorry? I did. I'm just making sure. Well, just, I'm just planning my next three turns. Put a lonely man up here. And then uh, trade in three of these for three roses. So would it be right in saying that the highest number of blue card will only come into play once we're in the yellows? Because there's no other way it can mm, move down. Pretty much. Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay. Yes, yours. The highest number of blue card in the game is 112, which is the Pharaoh. Which we saw as one of the four cards, we didn't did. we? We played two stones. In fact, did we like... also see the Masons' work? We did. No, three. It was the Masons' work. Three, three, it was the Pharaoh. Three, three, I think it was the Harvest three, Festival. Three, Ooh, Minus, I can't remember what the other one was. Oh my god. Thanks, Collector. It's built. What's that? It's built the pyramid. How's he done that? You've got to make it into a pyramid. So okay. one to three blocks, spending stone to get six points. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I think those two are actual pyramids, and these are kind of statues of somebody. Right. Um. <clears throat> Let's do the assistant. Can you put a worker on that so, one? Um, you're all depicting a fairy on Or three see. grapes. Three grapes? Oh, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> That's all you should do, isn't it? I did archaeology, but this was not my era that I really looked at. So. Well, you'll have a perfect understanding of ancient Egyptian so culture and. Uh, who's been married to a sister then? So. Uh, Another town. Uh, yes, another mm -hmm. town, uh, which will go in uh, uh, Scovelsville. Yep. Dare, dare we call it Scoville? <laughs> Very good. Uh, spend I'll three money. Go down and get... one money. Oh yeah, because you it's only worth two, isn't it? Yes. But I get six points. So six points. It's not all bad. Nice. Right, time for another plantation. Oh, my good. I don't have the stone. Or I could go for some sort of Why did you spend the grape? I don't I don't know. <laughs> I just decided to <laughs> buy some grapes. Could I have another workshop, please? Yes. Uh, the great workshop. <laughs> a great workshop. One, two, three. Four grapes. Not a single pub or tavern or anything <laughs> turned up. Just wine bar everywhere. Right there. Oh, is there? That's, that's, that's what converts the grapes into points. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I'm sure some of these used to be high street banks and now they're just white wine bars. Yeah. <laughs> and um Costas. Costas, Costas or uh yeah. Other well, coffee shops are available. Ask Italians. Um so I'm gonna show you two roses and I'm gonna gain two more roses because of that. Gosh. Oh. It's two turns to do it, but it is kind of useful. I mean that's six wild resources, isn't it? Mm. Are they going against yeah, or is it? No, no. Just two no. So oh, I have to right, turn okay. three of any other good into roses, and then I turn uh, those. If I show two of anything, I get two more. Yeah. Okay. So 
It was Amiga. It is indeed. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go into administration. Um, the cards in hand loads. Yeah. So no money. No money. You're removing any workers? Uh, yes. Actually, uh, yeah. That's fine. And yeah. the crook goes. That goes. So we get this one comes to here. It's called 62 novices. 62 novices. Remove one to three Remove workers. One to three upright workers from any spaces, <clears throat> being two dollars per removed worker. Good luck with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. We're not putting that many workers on the board. Yeah. Is it me now? Yeah. <clears throat> Hoping that might provide some options, but mm. uh, <laughs> no. I'm assuming so with one, Zara, can you select from here? Yes, okay, the current market, not yeah. the future market. Yeah, that could get you up to six money with one guard if there were some workers standing up. <clears throat> could be another dynamic in it buying futures. <laughs> Great futures is the place to go. Yeah. So I'm just trying to read the uh, two. There's uh, new games available on the next. <coughs> oh, yeah. I thought I turned off there. So I think I might have a grower. So the grower cost me two money. Three? Three money. Three money, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to work those out. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, expansions. expansions 54. Finally. Okay, right. So that puts these <clears throat> on a on a workshop and makes it bigger. Yeah, spend one resource <clears throat> of that type of looks of things and then gain three victory points. Seems to be one resource. Place one expansion next oh. to any workshop without an expansion. Any worker present remains regarding other card actions. This space is still considered to be a workshop. Pay one resource of your choice. Of your choice. Of your choice. Oh, yeah. No. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to bizarre that. I was going to say that's not going to be there, but so. <laughs> so you play that and you pay yeah. two for it. Pay two for it. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. you Save me two, I suppose. And revenue number four that goes off yeah. the lowest, one well, of the lowest yes. numbers we've seen. You just five get money. five money. Yep. Okay. Well, <clears throat> it's time for some crocodile sacrificing. And we're going to do it at the new place here. <laughs> and it's going to be this one. So that gets removed, and I get three points. One, two, three. Done. Oh, Uncle Brian. <laughs> Please to cover Trevor's ears. <laughs> I am going to administer at this point. So uh, I gain two. Plus two. Plus another two, yeah. So I'll finish up in a second. That goes. Gosh, we're racing through these, aren't we? I am going to remove. Number 50. We want to. Uh, oh, that one. Yeah. And, and the first one. That one. And you don't have much choice. No, yeah, it's the only one that's useful to me. To remove so off he goes so and come out temple the all rounder. all rounder what number is it number 50 50 um choose one option either take back the top card of your discard stack gain one resource of your choice or gain one reputation okay. mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. so i paid one to bring back a fourth card into my hand actually that's quite good for me i'm it's... gonna play stone supplier place a guy on the money here, I'm gonna get, get the two stone. That's my go. <clears throat> yeah, if you've got one card that you want to play all the time, mm. which I do, mm. right? We have a plan, it's a cutting plan. Mm. Your plan, <laughs> <laughs> you can thwart it. 
I don't know what a good number of bitch points is well, on average. To no idea. <laughs> okay, senior support. So, no idea. That says 100 yeah, on the back but, of Yeah, uh, but, you know, a two-player game, you might so, end up with massive scores. True. Can you stick a guy on Google, please? That's here. That's there. That's oh, sorry, Rob Rob's 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 right. And I would like, I think I've probably got enough grapes for the time okay. being. Um, I would like um, a... A couple of wheat and a stone. 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 So, Chrissy, you're saying the crocodile is delicious. It's like a salty pork. I was going to say, has anybody had a crocodile? I haven't. I thought crocodiles were supposed to be sacred. So it's pork in some religions. The, mm. the place where we're building a city, <clears throat> or building know, lots of cows, lots sacred. of cities, is a place where they went to worship. The crocodile, I've got the name of the crocodile god. Was it had a head of a crocodile and a body of a, of a man? No, Anubis is um, set, 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 isn't it? No, no, Pardon? Anubis set? is the no. uh, the dog headed one. He's that's it. Anyway, that's Bast, Bast is the head cat's headed one. <clears throat> yeah, I'll uh, spell action. That's that's like Thank the you. limit of one. crocodile yeah. headed god and spend a uh, Stone. <laughs> somebody somebody, on, the chat, to get three points. somebody yeah. on the chat is definitely going to know it's the name of the crocodile. Name of the crocodile god. Crocodile headed god. And make it snappy. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> uh, I am so back. So back. So big. Yeah. There's a board game called So big. I'm going to take five money because I'm going into administration. I've no cards in hand. We're going to remove. Two workers. Oh. I get these three cards back, and I'm not going to buy any other cards. Ooh, done. Ooh, I'm going to spend. He's got a plan. Well, I don't want that. I don't want that. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm running a fairly minimal card. Oh, hold on. Did you say you're going into administration? <clears throat> oh, I did. Yes. So, so right. the revenue card goes. So have you got so few cards? Did he not buy any? A new one is oh, that. You don't I've turned it over already. Number eighty. Harvest hands. You've got harvest hands, you have. Place one to three and spend money in game. Yeah. Uh, place one to three workers as if they were farmers. Pay one dollar for each worker and gain one matching resource for each worker. And you remove crocodiles as well. In which mm. case, wow. it's like farmers, but you have to pay them and you get three of them. And you can put three of them out, yeah. Two roads. <clears throat> Four points. Four points, please. Better action economy, I suppose. Uh, yes. Monuments. <clears throat> three stone. Three blocks. Yeah, Six three, points. Three block. This is the unfinished pyramid. Let me finish that one. That's, this is the unstarted pyramid. And this is the slightly, slightly started pyramid. Right. Okay. Got more temples to sacrifice crocodiles to. Yeah. 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 So back, Greek mm. Sushos in ancient Egyptian crocodile god whose chief sanctuary in Fayum province included a live sacred crocodile. There you go. <clears throat> you wouldn't dare sacrifice that one. Right. Come after you in the afterlife. Okay. Grower. So let's pull a grower. Um, here next to the yeah. It's, <clears throat> um, for two roses. And you get a dollar. Is it next mm. to the shore? I thought it was just next. Oh, to sorry, the oh no, yeah. Next to, it has to be next to the river. Yes. So yeah. let's put. Put the grower there, there instead. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Similar result, just in case it matters. I'm going to have to administrate. Okay. <clears throat> so no cards in hand. Are you removing two workers from the board? <clears throat> I can now remove two workers from the board. Five dollars. Thank you. Um, I may buy more cards back. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we are almost in the last set of cards. It's a small town. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. 
I'll buy two cards. <clears throat> two extra cards back? Yeah. Oh, where's the all rounder gone? Oh, it's just gone. Oh, that's my entire plan gone. You snooze, you lose. Did. Right. Okay. Ah. It might be past that point in the game where an engine is worth building. My engine. So. It's rusting in a shed somewhere. Uh, <laughs> in which case, have we got any other settlement spaces available? <clears throat> you yeah. can put a settlement there. No, the crocodile there. Oh, right. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's uh, what uh, happens uh, if everyone uh, leaves uh, their farmers. Uh, if, if people don't yeah. pick up their oh, farmers. There are still some places for settlements. Yeah. So, off we go then. Settlement. Let's put it. Let's put it there. Did, I have to spend three dollars, but I get three dollars. Did someone back. pick up the worker that I put there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I get three points. <clears throat> One, two, three. Okay. A small town for three is quite tasty. It's a whole action to buy. How many actions have we got left in the game? Yeah. I think I might just. How many workshops have we got left? Three. Those two. Put that one there. <laughs> All these wine workshops <laughs> everywhere. Three victory points, please. And three, four, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how any of you can count your victory points with the amount of wine that's going on. <laughs> the well, then we've not drunk any. We've no wine. We're just growing the grapes for the moment. We don't touch the product. <laughs> um, I think I'll put a gardener in here, and you can, oh no, not there, that's stupid. We can go there, I'll, I'll grow, you'll but grow. you might as well go there, might as well go there. Get, get a dollar get and a rose. Rose, yeah. A rose, yeah. It's not a very efficient way of advancing my game, but that's all pretty much all I've got. Yeah, that's my go. Uh, yeah, so farmers don't have to be placed next to other farmers. Farmers have to be placed next to other upright workers. Because you don't know whether it's a farmer or not, do you? What, even ones mm. in buildings? Yeah, if it's an upright worker. Oh, uh, okay. We might have been playing that wrong. I think we did once. Okay, but not that uh, many five, of us have played farmers. Five roads. Five roads, so, wow. Okay. Uh, I want to try and connect as much as possible. So let's do one from there to there. Yeah. That'll cost me a wheat. So that's two. Um, I'll right. count the roads. Thank you. Plus uh, one extra. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I, I don't need to count, count the roads. Count the <laughs> you count the points, Adrian. <laughs> two points. <laughs> I want someone to count the points. Ben, um, where else is good? Um, that's two steps. That's two steps. Yeah, that's you've got four more roads left. left. So those are mostly stone. So if I go, yeah, I haven't got that. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, There's another one for one. one. Well, I could go. Yeah. I could go from here to here. So that's I'll go through the crocodiles. Oh, I see. Right. That's yes. Yeah. That's yes. your single point one. But if you've only got four left. Then connecting two yeah, to a single point, gonna... one, so that's one stone for that. <clears throat> so that's three, four. Right. <clears throat> um, so it's difficult to get around here, isn't it? It is. Oh, I can. I can because I can. Oh, one, two. Even no, enough. I haven't got enough. I haven't got enough wheat to do that oh, one. Okay. Well, you've so... got the roses if you wanted to use the roses. Of course, right? Yes. Or so... you could just go one, mm. two, three with the three grapes. And connect those two. Mm -hmm. You've got options. So I could use a grape and a wheat to go there. Yeah. That's one, two more two, roads. And another one for connecting. Um, so I've got one more road to build. One more road to build. So I don't have to. Um, but you will get a point it's for the point for you get one point for I see, yes. So, uh, you could just go there because that's not then giving anybody any advantage. True. Let's build, let's build a road there, which Eight costs points. a grape. 
Yeah, and eight points for yellow. So it was five points because you built five roads. <clears throat> you then connected that. It was that. 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 And. There was another one, wasn't there? <clears throat> what was that? No, it, yeah, there was that, that, that. So, yeah. So, eight points. Right. Eight points. Okay. Done. Done. Nice. Big move. <laughs> Big move. Big move, yeah. And do some senior farming. Um, I'll go here. Senior and move. the second person in the chart, Monkey Unit, has said he thought this was one of Paul's games from 20 years ago. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, could I have a worker? But it, was, it does look like it. <laughs> and that will give me... Um, you get a dollar. A dollar. And <clears throat> two, two great uh, wheat. Wheat. So... Plantation. Spending that and three money to get four groats. I think that's now all of us. One, two, three, four, and three points. It's all plantation spots used up yep. at the moment. All right, okay. Well, I'm going to grow my two roses into four roses. I'm going to administrate. So you're going to move two guys. Are you removing two workers? For two bucks. Well, there's only two workers that can be removed. Sorry, they landed in with the, uh, the palace. And we should have a... Done that. No, this, this is the new one. That should have been Ah, yes. So the new one is a quarry you build. Yeah, there's only one workshop you build in the game. Place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then to... you can put a stonemason on that one quarry. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's where the variability comes in, is the, the weird order that some of these cards have come mm, out in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, do I want to do this? Uh... <laughs> well... Um, Devs in the chat, if morning Dev. Stone quarry, I get a bunch of stone. You do. Uh, I could only do it once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you might <laughs> never be able to do it if somebody else. Well, no, because as you say, there are no more spots available for uh, great. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. <laughs> All it takes is a cheeky little road through there. Yeah, yeah I think I might have a stone. Might get a stone quarry. So let's. Yes, you can't afford it. I could use my thief. Oh, you got a thief. Thief. So that goes is. under the thief. Yep. And then the new card comes. So we we have ah, finished the main stack of cards, right, haven't we? Right. So we are now into the final twelve cards. Right. Of which eight of them are yellow. So let's see what we've we got. Have we have a yellow, yellow, yellow card it's called Mummy One One Four. Yep. One One Four. <clears throat> Okay, one one four. Place one worker upright on any building site. Pay one to ten resources. Gain one reputation per resource plus one reputation for each building block on the building site of the mummy. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, do we have access to the futures market now? Nope. No. no. So, well, we can, can get the bin. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I read it out. I did. I didn't. Okay. The vintner. We can get the vintner right. now. Yeah. yeah. We but can't. Then... We can't get that though. No. No. But how so are, that... are we going to get to these? Because so other ones will come out. The, push it down. The four. Um, four disasters. Four disasters that will have signal the end of the game are all at the top. So it's going to push oh, everything. Okay. Right. Okay. <clears throat> it will very likely come out and be used once. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and now the card is there that I want, and I can't afford it. I mean. Uh, <laughs> All these grapes. <laughs> it's only two victory points per grape spent, though. So exactly. Oh, but in a, you only spend one grape every time. Yeah. You use it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's slow. <clears throat> yes, it's useful. But... I'm going to spend three money to buy the harvest hands. Um, thank you. It's a bit like jazz hands, but without music. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, next card. Um, yeah, next card. Put in... Why it's another yellow. I think I need another one. So Enjoy that back. goes Thank there. You. But it's not a disaster. Okay, well, I'm going to time for some crocodile sacrificing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's quite tasty with the looks of things. Put it on a thing and gain spend. Like price, we'll spend lots of money to get three points. points. Yeah. It's made up. Right, now is that worth the money for how few turns we're gonna have? Are these your gem collectors? Yeah. <laughs> it's just not done anything <laughs> with. Just laid them down and then left them there. <laughs> They're still looking. They're all down looking. the pub. Yeah. He thinks they're working. But... <laughs> I had a little bit of a game stories. engine plan, but then something else came along and they, <laughs> they just haven't got used. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Let's grab it. Okay, another card. 124. Heat. That sounds like the first disaster. Yep, that's one of the first disasters. Okay, well, that just means that the others are pushed down. So what does it get you? Guaranteed. If you play it, you get three points. Oh, right. Can you ever buy it? Because I didn't think they went into the market. No, I didn't think they did either. Oh, get them. We don't understand. Heat. <laughs> ah, right. <clears throat> it's when you pass. So we need to read the rules on passing at the end of the game. Um, you cannot buy the natural disasters. They fill the rightmost space of the market. Continue to take turns until you place the fourth natural disaster in the card market. This triggers the end of the game. From this point on, you can no longer take the administration action. On your turn, you can now only play a card, buy a card, or quit the game by taking the natural disaster from the card market that offers the most reputation. Right. The other players continue to play until everyone has quit. The last player to quit gains no reputation from a natural disaster card. And with five players, there is no fifth natural disaster. So yeah, the earlier you drop out of the game, the better you get more points. Well, it is, is and it isn't, because if you've got loads of stuff in your hand that's going to get you more victory points. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then, all more interesting. So you want to think about administrating before the fourth one. Before yes. the disaster. When there's two or three in. out there, like... Yeah. <laughs> and in a five-player game... Could come out of like, anywhere. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there's four other people. Uh, whose turn is it? Oh, I've lost track. Did you just thief something? Oh no, did um, I just... I've recently thieved a quarry from here. No, I bought but, the um, Vintner. That was it. I sacrificed the crocodile, <clears throat> you bought the Vintner. <laughs> I think that was it. Anything? Okay. Gem traders. Not the gem traders. <laughs> yeah. Put it somewhere and get to it. <laughs> Uh, I think I might administrate. Um, what's on offer? Oh, not many words. Small it's town a... gets you five points. So uh, that is quite good. Uh, Cost two money. Um, Would you like to buy some grapes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just need the mummy to come out, then I can. So that one's no good, is yeah. it? I can look at the um, treasurer. I think that's pretty tasty. Oh, if you got the money, yeah. Yeah, yeah spend, I'll, spend I'll twenty-four spend money two, and get twelve victory points. Buy the small, small town card. Yeah, that goes into okay. my hand. <clears throat> Drought, hundred and twenty-six. Oh dear! Two of them have come out. Right. <laughs> I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> I will get to do my administration, which is good. Yes, yeah. right. but the thing is, is if I take another turn, the yeah. likelihood of it getting around yeah. to administration yeah. again just doesn't feel likely, so yeah. it means I've got to administrate as well. I'm not going to get any, I'm going to get one money for administrating, so I'm just going to build a town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Three money, make up for the shortfall in resources. Yeah. Be back, be back, yeah, and I get uh, six points. Six points. One, two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> and that's it. Okay, well, I'm going to administrate. Uh, now we don't have many workers on the board. We don't. So I'll, I'll take those two back. We don't. Get five money. I take those three cards back. I don't want to buy any more. I get rid of the baker. <clears throat> and. 110 the harvest festival to 
three, and then one one. Which oh my is. God. What do they say? You... I think you select. Pay one resource of your choice for each of up to <clears> ten <throat> settlements connected with one another by roads and bridges. Bridges. Yeah, you had the bridge card and you got rid of it, didn't you? Um, you can choose the same or different resources, gain two reputation per supplied town and one reputation per supplied settlement that is not a town. Well, that's good for me. Oh. Okay. So they have to be. They have, they to, have be to be connected, connected to each other. Pretty much everything is. Mm. Mm. And these resource, these picture point cards, you've just shown I have a lot of money or a lot of resources. Mm. Which <laughs> something I didn't plan for. Ditto. But I've got it. Well, you've got, got, not, got resources. Not through planning. <laughs> it's... Yeah. No, because I won't even get my refinement. I'm going to have to take no money whatsoever. Go one, two, three. So you're administrating. Yeah. That goes, so that goes to the, the poor stone quarry, stone mason person. 112, the pharaoh. Okay, yeah. so let's read what the pharaoh does. Uh, for the town of the pharaoh and... Oh, sorry. Place one worker upright on any town. For the town of the pharaoh and each settlement, town and building site directly connected to the pharaoh's town by roads and bridges... Brackets, a workshop on a space between connected settlements does not interrupt the direct connection. Okay. Gain the following reputation. Two reputation per town, one reputation per settlement that is not a town, and one, one reputation for each building block on the building sites. I think the key word in that is directly, directly connected. connected. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't follow any of that, but well. So if you put the pharaoh there, yeah. you get two, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Think. Directly yeah. connected towns and settlements. Well, what counts as directly connected? Uh, not interrupted by another town or settlement. Just roads between them. Or these. These don't count okay. either. They, they don't block. Interesting. But it's not directly connected to this. No, it's not. No. They could be. It's if somebody, if somebody put that there, there uh, there's, there's another road no, building spot. You can't build a road. You can't have a, a junction. Oh, because there's a branch where there. There's a, where, where there's a, um, right. a workshop. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> okay. Whose goes it? That was you. I administered. You administered. You again. <clears throat> um, yeah, we got, what, one or two turns left each? <clears throat> feeling the push your luck element coming in here. Well, how many cards have we got left? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One of them is the, the other disaster. That's my go. Oh no, there's two more disasters. Two more disasters. Right, I'm going to administrate because I'm worried that those are going to fill up with disasters. So I've got two. I get one thing. Can I remove any stand-up people? No. Nope. No. Nope. That's annoying. Otherwise, I'd have done it. <laughs> so if I pick up these, will I actually? Well, then I could buy two more. So that would be that one. I mean, money's not worth anything. So. Um. <clears throat> and. That one. You want to get rid of the Channel Festival? Yeah, I'll give that a go. So I'll spend my money buying two extra things. Sandstorm. And then, uh, <clears throat> but the mummy's just come into play then. What's this too much? <clears throat> I'm going to um, <clears throat> use my bazaar. Spend too much cash to buy the pharaoh. Nice, yeah. Mmm. Alice, 120. Whee! <laughs> mm. I did say, but I did say it was going to arrive at the end of the game. Uh, place a palace on any town, pay two wheat, two grapes, two stones, and gain 15 reputation. <laughs> Ooh. Can I build a palace with grapes? <laughs> no, but I can build a palace with roses. <laughs> so my choices are, I mean, if I buy a card, that might trigger the end. It might. But I really want the mummy because that's going to get me a bazillion points. So I'm going to buy the mummy. I think he's going to buy the mummy. Or actually, actually, is the Harvest Festival going to be better? Spend 10 resources, up to 10 resources. Because they're all connected. They're all connected. And for every resource I spend, I get two if it's a town. One, two, three, four towns. So that'll be eight. 
And you can do that one too. Nine, well, they 10, have 11, to be, 12, 30. I think they have to be connected. To, the ones that you supply need to be connected directly to the other ones. What I'm trying to say is it needs to be a group. I mean, that's still good. One, two, three. created by direct connections. Four, five. It just says for each of up to 10 settlements connected with one another by roads and bridges. Doesn't mention directly. Ah, so right. just any of them. Mm. So that's actually better for me. Much okay. better. So we'll buy that then. We'll buy the Harvest Festival for three. Thank you. And the card that comes out is <clears throat> Wasteland. That's it. End fourth. of the game. That is the fourth one. So no one can administer anymore. Nobody can do any more administration. And now on your turn, you may choose to quit. And if you do, you have 10 points. Right. Well, I did like the look of the treasure of, but I think the palace might be more my speed. So. Oh, that's a lot of points. We'll have okay. another. We'll have another. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, 118. Grand Bridge. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so that's one of these golden bridges. The original bridge wasn't worth a lot of points, so that's one of the reasons why I chucked it. But we'll see. Couldn't see how to get the resources. 12 victory points, one of each, and mm -hmm. five. I'm going to spend five money. Gonna buy the treasurer. Treasurer. <clears throat> okay, another card comes out. Ninety. Tax collector. Mm -hmm. Put Is one, it me? Put one yes. yeah, Getting loads of money. We don't so, need money now. Oh, yeah, um, the treasurer might. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're only gonna get to him. Uh, getting one dollar for each workshop on the board. Plus one dollar for each hand. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Loads of money. Uh, so how many turns is everybody gonna have? <clears throat> That's the question. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Seven. You're gonna do all of that? Possibly. Wow. <clears throat> I think <clears throat> there's about five here I can do, but We'll go downstairs and play another game while we're we'll, 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 Let us know when you're done. Some money. I mean, I don't know. Other people might be taking multiple actions. I plan on taking probably one. Two money. Maybe two. Mm. What, and then take the ten victory and then, points. Well, yeah. suddenly find that my thief isn't very useful at the end because I could get one of them, but it'd be in my discard pile. It would be. It and would. I can't take the yeah. admin action, so yeah. it's suddenly. When you can bury him, though, suddenly, can't less, whatever it is. suddenly less useful. So, um. Uh, A great palace wouldn't meet regulations. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Just stack them up, glue so tape them together, me... a bit of super glue, some duct tape, you're fine. Let me discard the thief for two money. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. You can still do that. Rob. I'm gonna play my pharaoh for eight <clears throat> K. So where are you gonna choose? I think here's the best place, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yep. Eight points. So you Um. So harvest festival. We need to put a dude on there. We have done that. We did. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend some grapes. Uh, there's basically there's one, two, three, four towns. Eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I get thirteen points. Up to ten, isn't it? On your on yeah, up to ten resources. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm. Nice. Uh, six plus seven. So that one doesn't have to be grapes. It can be any. They can be anything. One, one to ten resources. Mm. Well, it any, has, can't, be stone stone. Or... can't be stone. Can't be stone. Because people don't eat stone at harvest festivals. They tried it once. Yeah, they didn't work. <laughs> Nobody came back. 
line. <laughs> I am actually going to Vintner, so I'll just have two victory points. Going to put him there, and I'll have five Your points. Money. Five money. <clears throat> if I play two loads, and I spend those two, mm -hmm. I can put these here, can't I? Okay. So that's four points. Yep. Um, quarry. Um, Aha! <laughs> so I pay one, one grain and one grape. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's have it there. We get three stone or four stone. Mm. Uh, four stone and three points. Four stone, three points. Mm. Rob. I have the out power. I'll spend my wheat. Yep. And put it somewhere. Doesn't really matter, does it? Nope. Yeah. Three points. Okay. So if you drop out next, you get the 10 points. Mm -hmm. It all depends whether you're dropping out next or not. Because I could remove another crocodile for three points, or I could drop out now, which is effectively a four point swing over Rob. Oh, how many cards you got in hand? Two cards. Two cards. I think I'm going to do it. I'm not going to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Trevor's safe. I am going to quit and get ten points. Okay, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. I thought you had something else to play. I did, but then you've only got two cards in hand, so I thought, yeah. Well done. All right. Well, we'll see what Adrian can yeah, do Adrian, with his, uh, his six of the cards. He's probably one. <laughs> so yeah. lots of things. He's still buying cards. <laughs> the next the one is one. the Mason's work. One oh eight. That looks complicated. It does, doesn't <laughs> Just it? to confirm, that was one dollar for every one of these and one of these. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Towns and workshops. Sorry, Trevor. Trevor third. Yeah. Some money, don't I? You get a dollar. Get a dollar. That's Trevor. And I get a... Um... You get a wheat. No, I don't. I get a... A rose. Yeah. It's a gardener. Right. Yeah. I knew it was a gamble. Taking, trying to take an extra three. Well, I thought you were going to take another ten. Mm. Well, I guess I'm well, if I had it, and you'd have got the ten, mm. I'd have got the six. But I would have played another card that got me three. Yeah. So I'd effectively have nine instead of ten. Yeah. So I'd be I'd be one point. Yeah. I'd be one point down. Yeah. But I figured that you'd be. Yeah. Three points up. Yeah. Mm. Makes sense. <laughs> All these people with cards in hand. I know. Right, let's do. Can I do that? It's a kind of small town. Mm -hmm. um, I'll pay a grape, a stone, <clears throat> and a Some wheat. Point. Yep. For a small town, I get two money <laughs> and five points. Five points for yellow? Yeah. Okay. So that can go. Okay. Wrong. Okay, so you're dropping out for six points. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm already out, so it's just you three now. Explain the juggler card. Can you read it the out? Juggler, for me, please. <laughs> I wanted about that. Uh, place one worker upright on any town. Get three dollars for each built town. So basically. He's travelling from town to town. Mm. And you get and one, money. two, three, four, five, you get fifteen dollars. <clears throat> okay. I, however, am gonna play the tax collect first. So I'm gonna put one guy here for what it's worth. And this is how much money? So it's ten uh, of the factory things and then another one, two, three, four, five. So you get fifteen money. So I get fifteen money. Peter. Play the settlement. I've got three. 
Yep, three points. And where's the best place to put it? Well, <clears throat> if I place it there, do I get any extra you points? Will. Yeah. You will get two extra points. You get two extra points because you've connected that one to that one and that to that one. Yes, that's the best place, I think, the best place to put it. Isn't There's it? very few places that settlements can be placed. Uh, so that... Mm. You just... Uh, oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Oh. Sorry, it's a, it's a bit kind of pointing out, helping somebody, but or not helping somebody. Because <laughs> that's worth a lot of points to the person uh, who has the card that gives money. One, two. Yeah. And you, someone else can buy it for two money. Well, it gives you money, but money's not worth anything. Unless, you've got Unless you have a way of converting the money. Which uh, some people do. Yeah. yeah. Two. But shh. It's just a playing kingmaker, isn't it, really? At this point. <clears throat> but if you're staying in for the long game, right. then you might as well buy it, right? So. If you're not that person. Or if, if, if you're going to be the fifth person to drop out, to get money, then yes, you, you might as well buy it because it, it, it pays for itself. Right. And then. Yeah. Right. Right, you might as well buy all of them just to stop yeah. anybody else buying them and then just do yeah. what you can with yeah. with what you've got. So I'm just looking at this one. So you pay three money plus one to five non-equal goods. Non-equal goods. Uh, non-equal, right. Is it the Masons' work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, number 108. So place one building block on any building site as explained under sacrifice. Pay three dollars and up to five different resources. Gain one, three, five, ten, fifteen, depending on the number of different resources you paid. Mm. So it's one building block, but you make it really nice yeah. <laughs> yeah. with flowers and fish so, and stuff. Uh, yeah. Standard masonry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way. So I'd want to get five different things, which is a bit harder. A bit tricky. Um, and I'd need to buy it with four money and I'd need to have three money as well. So can I get three money as well? Well, as Rob says, you can buy the juggler. The juggler costs two. And then right. and when you play the juggler, you get 15. 15 or 12 or something. Right, yes. But by then, someone else might have bought that. Um, they might. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you there with your four flowers, that could be four different resources. No, it can't. So it I can't. think I'll no, because flowers is one of the time. Flowers is one of the time. I think so. I'll buy the juggler. It can be used as a wild, but I don't uh, believe that's it too many. Be... Oh, no, that's a good question. I, I, th I thought flowers could be used as. Mm. It depends on the wording because the flowers are on there and it's saying non-equal goods. Yeah. Which would suggest to me. Well, a flower yeah, is, would then be used as a flower. If the and rose, not yeah, as a rose, joker. Exactly. If the rose hadn't been on. Yeah, there, I think you can. There's nothing can, to say you can't. When the when the box looks like that, you can use roses to substitute for one of those. Yeah, here. contrast that with that one, because <clears> that has <throat> got that has got rose on it, and that one hasn't. So in that yeah. one, a rose can be a fifth type of good. Yeah, if but, you don't want to use it as a wild card, but you, you can, can use, use it, it as there's something there's else. Probably an FAQ on. Ah, uh, well. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm I, gonna... I, I think you can because there's nothing that says you can't. I'm going to do the one right. that I definitely yeah, know I can do. You could do. use five roses, couldn't you? Yeah, I'm okay. going to just buy that. But then why didn't they, why did, why did they put the rose mm. on the card? Why didn't they just put the rose on the card? Because it's a fifth type of resource, type. I suppose. Yeah, it's the only way you get yeah, right time is using a rose on the rose. I'm going to play Gem Searchers, okay. which gets these out of the game. Hey! Or 15 money? And he gets me 15 money. <laughs> 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 so it's me then right so i could get that and i could get some money so it would cost me hmm, three let's play the juggler so it's 15 on well you put a thing on a thing. yes on the city um that one yeah one two three four two, three, five, four, five, five six, seven, fifteen. Nine. Nice. Thank you. You guys are out. <clears throat> yep. <coughs> I'm gonna turn two flowers into four flowers. <laughs> Still at it. 
in my last chance of doing that I'm a bit ah, fan right now. so the back of the rule book has a choice of resources um so matching resources you must pay resources or gain resources according to the guidelines depicted on the cards you may gain a rose only when it is depicted resources of your choice is the question mark and if it says not equals to it has to be different resources you must pay with different types of resources as depicted on the cards Roses are wild. Any time you pay resources, you may replace any required resource with a rose. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My problem is that I don't know that I have enough resources so it's to get me now. Isn't it? It is. But it's only now three points to the next person who drops out. That's less mm. incentive. So I'll than... acquire this one. Ah, that saves that idea. Which um, cost me three money. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Right. I think we should get one point every time it's our go and we don't get yes. it. Yeah. I mean, I did, did that. Two, okay. yeah, so two, how, two does, yeah. how does the money work then? If I if I if I had four wheats, put a thing I, on here. Yeah. Spend up to ten resources. If I spent four. Yeah, you get four points. Yeah. Plus one point for each block that's there. Oh, okay. So. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend that and five. One two. And I'm going to build a golden bridge, which gives me 12 victory points. And I'm going to put the bridge there, which gives me another victory point. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Was that with the extra one? Yeah. Thank you. Golden Gate Bridge <laughs> connecting. <laughs> I'll play another farm round. Let's go here. <laughs> For a dollar. <laughs> yeah. You're still playing farmers. Wow. Wow. Let's well, go see me supplier. Going out, so. uh, stick a geezer here. There is a place in As he walked Egypt across called Giza, called Giza, Giza, yeah. Uh, as he walked across the new golden bridge. Diamond Giza. Talk about let's have water smell as well. A grape, a grain, and a fish, please. A grape. A wheat and a fish. Yeah. Thank you. I knew that card would be useful at some point. That's where the Great Pyramid is. Great Pyramid. So I am going to play the Palace. So I'm going to spend four roses. And oh, no. two. And I'm going to place a uh, Palace just over here. I like it. I 15 think. points. 15 points. Oh, for that. Well done. Okay. Show me the palace card. <laughs> two of everything. Right, two of each basic resource. Yeah, That's what all the powers are all bad. Yeah. It bad. makes sense to spend more money on <coughs> the mummy. That was my go. Um, grower. So let's put a geezer. Uh, ooh, needs to be next to the river, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's have a person. Whether it matters where, does it? There. Yeah. We get two, two roses. Two roses. Right. <clears throat> so, Adrian, are you going to stay with it, or are you just going to drop out for three points? Yes, three points. <clears throat> yeah, well played. Right, it's between you two. So, the wheat trader. Uh, put a guy on any one of those, doesn't matter, get me three wheat. <clears throat> Um, I think I'm ready to do the mason's work. Um, a good mason's work. Yeah, I think I am. Got the money. Got the five. Yeah. So um, spend a block block one on block on that one. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, so spend one of each. One, two, three, four, five, and three bucks. And three bucks. You get 15 points. And you yellow one. <clears throat> Farmer. Put a guy. Still farming here. <laughs> Can't go there. <laughs> no. Oh, no, you can. You can. Since it's adjacent to that. Get a dollar and a wheat. Some people play you know, that when all, you remove you know, a crocodile. Bags now, right? You keep it in your supply <laughs> mm -hmm. and you use it as a buck. 
So you don't need to give the person That's a dollar. That's a good idea. Yeah. But you need to remember that the crocodile sacrifice doesn't do that. Yeah. So next. Um, <clears throat> oh. One point for the player who drops out next. <laughs> still got stuff to do. I still got plans. <laughs> One, two. Just do your little count. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so we did good. use all of the buildings. We did. So, oh, we didn't use the bridge. <laughs> golden bridge. We used the golden <laughs> bridge. And we used the pallets, but we didn't use the normal bridge. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, we gave it a good go. Yeah. We still build some roads. I'm looking where to build roads. Uh, Four points. He's yeah. got five. The five isn't all. So. <clears throat> That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's lots of options. Don't you know, anything close to one, is there? So right, let's do um, the market lady. Um, I can spend uh, up to three money. So let's spend three money for um, a um, couple of wheat and. Have you got a five roads card? Yes, I have. You probably yeah. just want rocks then, don't you? Pardon? You probably just want stone. Um, let's have two wheat and one stone. Yeah. I got some stone already. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. okay. Right, the mummy. I've got six wheat. That's nine, nine points. Okay. <clears throat> Five roads. So let's have a couple of roads there. Yeah, that's two stone. <clears throat> and four points. No, one, <clears throat> two, three. Then let's have a couple of roads here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another three. So that's six, six points. And another and one somewhere would be seven. <clears throat> I've got a road in there. <clears throat> right. it for you. I think that is. Yeah. You've got your points on. Treasure room. Yeah. And your points. <clears throat> uh, Twenty. I get for each two. I get one victory point. <clears throat> so ten victory points. Ten victory points. For me, You've please. got to put a person on one of these. So I feel that one. Right. And then Robert drops out. Yes. And I gets get a point. point. <laughs> 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 Well, considering you two are quite far behind for we're quite a while, we're still far behind. Well, no, I did. It took me ages caught to get off the ground. I caught up a little bit. We're done. I was looking for an end pin, and it took me ages to find one. Mm. And when it finally did, it was a bit late. So, winning score: Adrian seventy-one, Paul sixty-seven, Rob sixty-one, Peter and Robert fifty-six. Mm. Initial thoughts mm. from the player who won. <laughs> I won. Didn't I? Don't know how I won in the end, but um, you got, well, you, you got, you got more points than, yeah. than, than the rest of us. You're supposed <laughs> to thank your parents and your agent. Oh, it's true. Yeah, I know. I've got to thank my pharaoh for, for acknowledging me the most. In that, uh, yeah, no. It's interesting because it it evolves, doesn't it? So we were first playing the let's gobble up and to like make handbags out of crocodiles and stuff yeah. like that and get the money and then you kind of moved on to a bit of networking and then as soon as all of those farmers got hoovered up off the board it sort of tightened right back up again it mm. kind of went quite wide and then really tightened up at the end i really enjoyed that the the hand management wasn't as much as i thought it was going to be the discard thing because you just put your farmers at the bottom and then i didn't pick them up again <laughs> I, I did i did something similar but i was running with um i mean i only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had nine cards in total. Yeah. In the whole you game. You ran very lean. So I was running quite lean, whereas Robert was 15, playing 18. You were playing all of your cards and then administering. Mm. Yeah, 14. Which was like a completely different mm. way mm. of playing it. Mm. I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. And I think this game is criminally underrated mm. because I think it's very clever. I think it does things different. I just think it wasn't that popular. I think the board artwork let it down. Mm. Um, some people complained about the playtime. 
Mm. Even when it like, came out, this feels like an odd graphic choice. It is, and people were talking about this in the chat. It's just yeah. because they assume that players will be on the similar points up till this point. Yeah, but mm. people are still on the same points up here. It, it's an odd choice. It's a weird. Wi- it, 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 it is an odd choice. <laughs> just... um, the other, the other criticism that <clears throat> that this game had when it came out is, and this ties in with the some people thinking it was too long. Is that they felt that they they were just repeating the same actions over and over again, and that they felt the game didn't evolve. And I disagreed with those people yeah. quite strongly because I think mm. the game does evolve. It kind of depends how people play. The it game. depends how you play it. But if you mm. want to play the game where you're playing farmers and you're getting resources and then you're building roads and settlements, and then you get your cards back and you play farmers and you build roads and get settlements, if you want to do that then you'll be doing the whole the whole the same thing all the game but the fact that the new cards come out and we and there's only one of certain cards in there so the crocodile sacrifice and I was the only person to do yeah. that mm. and my game was changing what I was doing because the cards were coming out mm. I mean, the fact that pretty much you and me only had the cards that put those down. Yeah. I mean, we flooded the board with them pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but these guys didn't sort of get a look in on that because we were just well, like, oh, let's keep making wineries. So <laughs> where, where was the card that allows you to <clears throat> put a workshop on a wheat space? We discarded did, it really early doors. Go? Yeah, there was one of them we discarded well, really early doors. Because there should be two of them. There's, oh, there's two um, of them. There's the plantation and mm, there's the... Maybe just... Well, no, that's the baker. Yeah. No, I, I was eyeing up the baker and I thought it, it, I had it, it, I had a I had a wheat farm. Yeah, the farm. farm. I, didn't see I didn't see it. So I think part of Just, part of the reason that got discarded was we got lots of high high numbers mm. and the farm is forty four. Yeah. But it managed to get pushed off the bottom, yeah, I think. Right. Yeah, lots of high numbers. So, and and that's um, the 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 <clears throat> as I mentioned a couple of times, that's the variability. Mm. Is the order in which these cards come out? Mm. Anyway, I, I I thought it was fantastic, and I think it's I think it's underrated. Rob, thoughts? Um, so I'm not sure about it to be honest. I mean, I felt a bit railroaded at times about what cards I had to take, you know, okay. to maximise my strategy. And um, yeah, and especially towards the end, you know, when when certain cards came out, and because of the number of players, and you know, they're likely to be gone. Yeah. So I guess it suffers from the same problem that Power Grid suffered from. Is that you know, it's, it's top decking, which you know. You get the one you need, you're lucky because it came out at the right time. Yep. Um, so I didn't like mm. that particularly. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit long for, for the kind of game that it is. How long were we? 11 o'clock, so we have three hours. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe for maybe a five player game. Yeah, maybe it plays with better with fewer players. 20 minute teach, 15 minute teach on the phone. That's it, we did, we did mm, do yeah. a bit of a teach at the start. Mm. Yeah. I think I might enjoy it more if it was fewer players, but I think we had fun. I, th- I, think, yeah. I think three, four players, this would really shine. Yeah, but it yeah. worked at five. It worked at five. It, it was just, as you say, something comes out, and it's like, oh wait a minute, yeah, four people are having a turn before it's my mm-hmm. go again. Robert, initial thoughts? I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was. I enjoy. I, I do like Concordia. The way you pick mm-hmm. up the cards. Uh, this is a bit different, uh, as we said, but I I did enjoy it, and um, I, I like the. The way that you're putting things on on hexagons and all that stuff, but I think the art could definitely have, have, have sold it more. Yeah. If if the art was different, I did I did think that hurt yeah. the game, which is a shame because <clears throat> ultimately, the board needs to be simple. Yeah. If you mm. if you have a board with lots of fancy artwork, you're not going to be able to see the detail. Mm. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's by design. For me, this could just be a yellow space mm. and a purple space and a grey space. We don't mm. even need the other stuff yeah. on it. Mm. Because the more detail you put onto the board, the more you then start not to be able to see the actual yeah. pieces. Mm. And it's I mean the 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 theme is very light, isn't it? It's it's quite it's quite abstract. Uh, and the and and the pieces are very mm. representational. I mean, the only ones that really have any character to them are the, uh, the, <laughs> the crocodiles, crocodiles, and all you're doing is killing them. Crocodiles. So, I mean, the... I think there's more theme to this than a lot of other Euro games mm. that I play. Okay. Because you not... are building a network of roads. You are yeah. building settlements. You are kind of constructing a new province out of swamp you're kind of reclaiming the land and building on it. So, yeah. So I think, first of all, I am assuming it's historically accurate in terms of the resources at the time well, the introduction and, and what people would do. Yeah, there's an introduction. It was a piece of history. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. 
Um, but I, I felt that a lot of the cards worked very thematically. Mm. I mean, to some extent, you know, they're very simple. Okay. I'll put a plantation here, I get grapes. That's that's nothing clever. Mm. But the Harvest Festival, well, what does that do? Where you can supply all these towns with things. Mm. So a lot of the cards, mm. the ability of those cards, for me, felt <clears throat> like it was quite thematic in a way. Yeah. As I say, more so than a lot of other... Is it so? Is it the is it the is it the uh, the illustrations? Is it the choice of colours? Is it the um? It, it feels it feels like a kind of A level project, rather than a professional games design from somebody that's produced one of the most highly rated games in history. Yeah. It it it, it does feel as though the graphic design has let it down. But as you say, it's very functional. Yeah, very functional. The only bit that I found was that occasionally. Yes. Uh, uh, look, they're these, the same, these two. They're the same they're color. The same color they're and the they're same roughly color. the but same height. I don't think we're meant to put the people on the red mm. thing. No, I, think, I was putting I think them on the... meant to put the, the, the cylinder there, but then the person's meant mm. to be at the side. Yeah. For a um, different color, mm. that would be nice. But, yeah, otherwise it's just art because, as mm. you say, everything was mostly readable. Like paint the thing as grey or something <laughs> like that. And then, yeah. I don't know why we've got these different colored pieces. Maybe these are from a different game and I've accidentally put them in here. I don't know. But again, um, these and being a different colour. Yeah, it depends how many how many we've got. If, I've got, I if mean, I've got forty of those out, these are from a different game, and I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I mean, it almost feels as though the the, the production, the design is, is 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 trying to make a statement. Like they've that 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 they they've they've been they they've played Cthulhu Wars, and they thought, no, let's go for a minimalist. <laughs> let's go for a minimalist opposite end of the spectrum. Let's just show how simple and how stripped yeah. down and how basic. The components can be for a board game. Nowadays. So it isn't that they hired um, a bad artist for this. No, this is the same artist, the same graphic designer who does all of their games. Okay. So that's why I'm thinking this was a deliberate stylistic choice in order to keep the board simple, so it didn't clog up with. with well, it, so it was a basic kind of up yours to the end <clears throat> of the market that's flooding us with kind of massive <laughs> miniature, heavy miniatures sculpted that cost five hundred pounds. Yeah. But Friedman Freezer Games go, they, they do a different thing. They're, they're, they're a publisher who... It would have been nice if they could have come a little bit towards... I mean, they didn't have to have, like, models and uh, resin models of everything, but a little bit more would have perhaps been... As you say, it, it bombed. I don't, I don't think it did that well. I think the people who've played it, who like it, think it's a good game. Um, I wasn't sure after my first play, apart from I really wanted to play it again. And I think I only played it mm. maybe two-player? Last time, or maybe three. I played it with Scott Alden from Board Game Geek. Nice. Um, we played it over Tabletop Simulator. I would, I would play it again. I, think I, I would really definitely play it again. It's yeah, a really absolutely. good game. Um, there terrific. Is a, there's a solo mode as well. Yeah, so, I, like, um, I like the way that the cards work, and it reminds me a bit of Fabled Fruit. In yep. Fabled Fruit, officially, the cards come out in the... In the Proper order, yeah, one, order. two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. But some people say, why don't you, once you've played through once, why don't you just shuffle them? And um, and put them in fours. Yes. Um, so one I've to never four got come out to doing that yet. Before five to eight. Before well, nine no, to twelve. What, what I'm saying is, that some people just take mm. one copy of each of the cards. Oh, shuffle right. That, okay. Shuffle that to create a new order, and then put the other three in with each of those cards. So you, so could you get got completely the cards in a different complete. order. Yeah, I think I think and some people have tried that and said it works fine. I think the way this works, and again, it uses the power grid uh, <clears throat> method of. Well, here's eight cards, but it's only going to be the four lowest ones that come out mm. because there is a there is a progression to this game. The cards get better. Absolutely. Therefore, mm. you do need some way of having the lower numbered cards available early. But mm. we got what the number twelve card didn't come out till you know <laughs> we're mm. almost done with the game. But then that so, bumps up the things that were three cost a second ago become four cost yeah. because it bumps it up and. Mm. I, I, you know, when we look when you look at things like Concordia and mm. you've got those stages of cards, actually this is really well I liked it. I thought it was a smart yeah. way of yeah. ordering the cards yeah. by value. I mean, I mean Power Grid does get criticized for being deterministic and uh -huh. for inducing AP um in people. I've heard I've heard it criticized. I don't know how much we would share that criticism and if we did, would we say that this solved that? I, I played Power Grid a long time ago, and all I remember was having to do a lot of math in my yeah, head, which, I'm play with not, the which I'm not good at doing math in yeah. my head. There's less math with this. And one. I bounced hard yeah. off of Power Grid. Yeah. 
But the main problem is that you know you tip over the top card of the deck, and it's the, the best power mm. uh, <laughs> generator so far. And then the next person buys it, buys it, it up. Yeah. Yeah, but was there, were there enough of those cards coming I along so. that you and got, different ones were good for different got people? The chance to try mm. to be, collect to get enough together to make a little bit of a game engine. So the mummy would have been good for me, yeah. um, or the harvest festival would have been yeah. good for me, or there was another one that would have been good for me. So I think there's multiple more options, and maybe yeah. you get some warning as well. Yeah, because one variant of power grid is if you play with the top of the deck that plays. That's, that's, that's my hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the groganized. Yeah. yeah. But there is a bit of that, I think, going on here. But yeah. You can be, you know, messed up. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if, if I think, was it the Harvest? No, I think it was the Mummy or it was the Harvest Festival. Mm -hmm. One of them, it was here. Mm -hmm. And I knew that at some point it was going to come in. And you're absolutely right. Somebody else might have bought Someone it before it was made. And then I'd have gone, all oh, right, OK. I'm not, not going to do it. I guess, yeah, you might hate pick sometimes as well. It's to prevent yeah. the player from getting something that I you know make them win. <laughs> I think we were very nice with roads here as well. Halfway through, I was like, oh, I could just do this, and then you're never linking those two up. Because, um, like, especially with yourself that had five roads, mm. I looked at a few of them, and you were like, oh, I'll just put one here, and I kept in my head going, if you wanted to be really mean, <laughs> you could just go, yeah, okay, oh, well. Once you've built, if you put that there. No one you... can build a junction, so no, they then got to they're gonna go with, put it, where it. If you put it, if you put it like that, then that stops someone from going from there. Oh no! It doesn't. It's still going. It just makes but it. It just makes it longer. Take it. To yeah, <laughs> you could just turn it around. If that there was a point where I think this wasn't here, and yeah, you put one over here or something. I can't think now. And I remember looking and going, "Oh, I'd totally point the road in the wrong direction and make them spend more." <laughs> oh, because yeah, if you then put another one there, yeah, you, this you, is you, blocked. That's off. blocked off. You can't but go either way, then it's going to cost them two roads to get around. You don't, wait, you don't, work, and... you don't work for the highways or <laughs> <laughs> Right. Anyway, let's wrap things up. We are all done. Um, thank you very much to everybody for joining us tonight. And hello to uh, Peter, who's just joined us. Yeah, you're going to have to rewind. Uh, yeah, really, really. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Things are cracking game. Um, as I mentioned at the start, this wasn't a sponsored stream. This was just us five playing games for fun. But obviously, Patreon support keeps the, keeps the channel going. So if you are in a position to be able to support me on Patreon and help carry on making more videos like this, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, but that's it. That's it for another week. I'll be back next week with uh, more content. I'll let I'll I'll let you know on Monday. I think I I think I remember what it is, but I don't want to say in case I get the wrong thing. So um, yeah, I'll announce on Monday what my plans are for next week. Some of you are here next Friday, I think. So um, um, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Andy. Anyway, we're all done. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you all soon. And bye, bye.